All right. We should be good. We should be golden. I'll make sure my audio is not too high here. What's up, everybody? Uh, special Friday night edition of uh, DM and TJ. Uh, and tonight, uh, we're going to be punishing the ever-loving shit out of Dark Matter. How is that different than any other night? Uh, it's not. It's not. And that's that's why people keep coming back. They want to see you suffer. <laughs> Honestly, um, the the Generation Hope shit has nothing on this. We, we've, we're about to go from Generation Hope to Generation No Hope whatsoever. Uh, okay. Um, I don't understand how you plan on beating Generation Hope. I mean... That's some pretty radical shit. Yo, this is you're about to watch Generation Dope. It is it is bad, and uh, I know you've been exposed. Um, I don't know if you saw the thumbnail at all or have any idea of what we're covering, um, but uh, we've covered. I, I've I've introduced you to them, um, Shani and Rev, Shani for Christ. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So we're gonna do a little bit more of a deep dive tonight. I'm going to show you some uh, mind-numbing uh, clips from her and, uh, and, and possibly even uh, her boyfriend, Rev. Uh, and I'm also going to give uh, probably mo- mostly verbally because we've covered a lot of the updates already. Um, but like, I will let you know uh, what their current situation is. Do you, so tell me in like you know, 500 words or less the, what you know about Shani for Christ. What I know, or yeah, like well, what, what you've been exposed to, they have a, a, a strange relationship with G Man in which they've attained housing from him, or they used to have a lot of money that they blew through and then they needed help and ended up renting a place from G Man cheap and they ended up homeless. Mm, and you're uh, you're, you're kind of close. So, what happened is, uh, Jason Revelation News um, inherited like seven hundred plus thousand dollars from his mother, and he was like living just fine on his own as a severe alcoholic. Um, and uh, Shani found out he had that money, and she basically cheated on her husband at the time with him with Rev, and then um, pretty much forced Rev to take her and her two sons in. Uh, and then she immediately blew th- through his seven hundred grand. He also inherited inherited two houses. Uh, one of yeah. them he sold to his uncle for a dollar, and the other one he sold to G Man for a dollar. Okay. Yeah. So that's what where they were staying was the house they sold to G Man for a dollar. Uh, they were staying there rent free, and not only rent free, but G Man was giving them money to survive. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, and that all went to hell recently when uh, I guess G-Man was giving him like a good chunk of money every week. And uh, G-Man had got his hours cut and had to go through like a surgery. So he wasn't going to be making as much money. So he told them like, look, I got to cut back what, how much I'm giving you for you guys for a little bit. Uh, their, Shani's reaction to that was to put him on blast on the Internet. Oh God! Call, calling him like a fake Christian that like wasn't wasn't really you know uh, you know because he wasn't like giving them as much money, so now he's not giving them shit. And I was now, just about to ask, isn't she at like a, a Christian channel or something like that? Yeah, well, like Shani, I was gonna, Shani for Christ. So yeah, I was gonna ask because uh, you were just mentioned about her cheating on her husband and stuff and going with this other guy for his money. Yeah, and then blowing through the money, and uh, here's the thing. She, she has nowhere else to go. I think in her mind, giving the house to G-Man was her backup plan so that when she left Jason, she could go with G-Man because uh-huh. she's, she's been wanting to get in G-Man's pants for quite some time as well. The, the whole – my, my point is this. It's essentially if you mix Jerry Springer and a terrible soap opera together, that is their life. They are currently living in a cheap ass shitty motel, begging daily for food. Um, every, everything they do is like the biggest fail ever. It's a soap opera, except everyone being rich and good looking. They're they're all poor and ugly. I'll put that it this. Is. I'll put it this way. Not only that, but they're nasty ass people. So it's like a soap opera. Without the soap part. 
Oh, gotcha. That's okay. that's 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 a better way of putting it. Let me it. let me I, coin, I sh- I'll coin a phrase right now. It's it's a stank opera. Okay? That's that's what the the life they're living is a full on stank opera, but they've been doing it. Here's the here's the crazy part, Dark Matter. They've been doing it like as long as we've been doing this shit. So, um they look back fondly on what they call the G plus days. Whereas for you and I, we had been around before G plus came around and, uh, and G plus was like a nightmare, but they, they like got yeah. off on that shit. Um, that's, Why? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. Cause it gave them like G plus rooms where they could, uh, they call, they call themselves the great debate community, which is essentially just, um, anyone that care, you know, cared about the religion versus non-religion debate that we all went, th- we all did this way ahead of G plus. Yeah. We were on blog TV. Yeah. Dude, um, d- d- even before that, there was like stick them. Yeah. Yeah. Stick them. I remember like, that way back in the day. We've been doing <laughs> this shit forever, but they, you, you know, what's funny is, uh, this, this stops in the last few years, but for, for several years, I think. Uh, let's see. I was in a group call with G-Man once, so he had my Skype. And ever since then, for like a few years, uh, I'd log in to Skype after like not being in Skype for a month or two. And I'd see an old message from him from like a couple weeks prior saying, hey, you know, I want to debate you. I want to debate you. Like like every couple of times I'd log in to Skype, there'd be a new G-Man message. I want to debate. Well, if, if anyone has been around long enough, you'll remember that G-Man uh, claims he has never lost a debate. Most of these mm-hmm. debates were just fucking back and forth arguments. But no matter how badly he got his ass handed to him, he claimed he won. It's well, like the, I mean, he Trump gets to decide. Yeah, yeah, sure, I guess. My my point being that like these fools have been doing at this for a long time. This is no like they're no spring chickens to this fucking game. They've been doing it. Uh, Shanny, in fact, um, <laughs> was streaming on Twitch one night, and I got a notification that she was streaming, and I happened to uh, pop in the chat, and I, she didn't even notice me for like the first three things i said in the chat someone else replied to me and she noticed that and she was like dude i don't know if i can still find it, it it's mine it's kind of i remember that you showed that before. yeah did i show it to you yeah, yeah she's like excited to see me and that that to me like blows my mind i'm not i don't want people like her excited to see me god damn it that makes me not want to keep doing this you're her next uh sugar daddy you uh, didn't know that oh bro she's gonna have a, a rude awakening <laughs> a rude awakening. She's she's your next roomie. Yeah. Uh, how do I how do I phrase this? Fat chance. It ain't it ain't it ain't happening. Mm-hmm. Look, I might enjoy smoking fatties. I just don't fuck them. All right. You're just okay with wrapping your mouth around them. Don't word it like that no. you dirty fucker dude all right you think you think you're getting one up on me bitch i've got the lineup of material here and it it's it's honestly it could have been worse it could have been worse i'm how am i get, where, how do i want to do this i want to what order do i want to fucking play this in <laughs> okay uh Okay, that's definitely towards the end. Oh, do you? I'll, I'll give you a chance. Do you want to start with cringe or rage? Who's feeling the rage, me or her? So we would be feeling the cringe. She would be feeling the rage. So they're both cringe. Pretty much. So normal cringe or rage cringe? I think we should start with rage. Okay. I mean, I'm letting you uh, call that. Uh, right before we get to that, let me remind everybody uh, of our Streamlabs is open. Our Super Chats are open. Um, Patreon.com slash goddamn if you would like to jump in on that. Something for everybody. And we really, really do appreciate your support. Um, and we will address any and all uh, questions, comments, or concerns that you guys uh, give to us during the stream. But uh, I do have to also say, for every clip I'm going to play, I'm going to give Dark Matter a choice. And then we're going to blame Dark Matter if we don't like the clip. You understand? Uh, Even I'm only giving him two choices. Both of them suck. 
But no matter here's what, this, no matter what a, he picks, that will be the here's reason a why. Plate, here's a plate of shit and a plate of vomit. You have to choose, and if you don't like it, it's the chef's. It's the chef's fault. That's right. It's. A, do you want a, a punch in the gut or a punch in the fucking head? And uh, you know, yeah. it, it, one of those is apparently winning while the other is losing. Well. Here we go. Oh, Grant, I see you there. I see you. Grant says he's got a half chub going on already just thinking about Shanny. Yeah. Uh, well, he's a, I mean, hey. He's already accused you of being smitten and for her and that your year was made well, when you noticed. Well, I mean, granted, uh, he's probably got much more of a freaking chub going on for her. She, I mean, look, Grant's got a, a half chub for a full, full chub. <laughs> if you would like to gr- join us uh grant you are more than welcome you just let me know all right uh, say so um but in the meantime let me uh we'll get rid of this oh no actually i need to set up this uh, uh give me one second window okay this one okay and then we're going to stretch that out Oh, fuck yeah, stretch it out. All right. And now that goes to the bottom. And huzzah! There we go. All right, so this is a classic, classic clip of Shani. She has uh, she has woken up in the early morn. Great time to turn on a camera. Yeah, and, uh, and she's like watching um, some movie or whatever, but... So the whole time, it the, the beginning of this, it seems like it's not going to be a rage stream, but it turns into an insane rage stream very quickly. And I am going to do all of us a favor, and we're going to speed up Shani to, um, we're going to do 1.25. We might jump it up to 1.5, because she speaks incredibly slowly. Um but she gets worked up for this. So we're I'm opening this up for you. And after this, we're going to do the cringe cringe, not rage cringe. Um, and this is this is your intro. Uh, imagine you've never seen this person before. And this is the first time you get uh, you lay eyes on them or their their material. And by mm-hmm. the way, she considers this a job. She considers what she's she has three channels. And or at this time she did. And she considered that having three jobs. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's up, guys? I'm currently watching Pink Fairy. You can tell it's sped up here, obviously. Like the music. There, I'll put it on normal speed real quick. So, that's what you're seeing me do. I need to make myself a bowl. No, my phone is. Dirty. Who is Dark. this supposed to be for? For everybody. And your background noise thing was just kicking off there for a second. It's it was. Just, yeah, it's good now. I don't know what. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're, you're. I wish I knew what was going on with this fucking thing. It seems like it changed somehow. This is the mic I've always, always used. It seems on the like show. It, it gets real sensitive. You know what your mic sounds like? It sounds normal, like 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 uh like the head of a penis, right? But then all of a sudden, for some reason, it gets super sensitive. Yeah. Think about that while you talk closely. If your if your lips ever rub up against your microphone, I want you to remember that. I they could never rub up against my microphone because my microphone has protection on. Oh, you Is got it? a you got one of those ST pop screens. Yeah, I got a a pop filter. It's. It covers the. Is it like this? Microphone, protects it from my mouth. No, no. No, you have the circular kind. Yeah. Oh, it's a, what? It's a, like a diaphragm. What a bitch move! Those things don't even work. They they're literally just there to, to to feel like you're doing something extra. Seriously, like that's a that's a hey, I'm a professional because I have one of these stupid screen things in front of a microphone. Can you hear this? Yes, I totally can. Oh, fuck. You, you, I'll tell you what. You pop, and I'll tell you how many times you popped. That's three. All right, now I'll pop, and you tell me how many times I pop. 
five. All right. Well, it <laughs> seems we both lose this game. God damn it. We, we should start a class pop action lawsuit against, against these yes, pop, pop filter. Pop filter, filter incorporated. That's correct. Anyway, all right. So there's, now- there's this scene, there, not scene, but there's this video of this guy. I think he's on Twitch where he's fucking around with his gun and he thought he unloaded it and it goes off. And you know, you don't even hear the gun, it's right next to the microphone. Yeah, so I've I've been told that like certain sounds I make uh, when I'm not the person who made the call, but I'm joined the call, they don't come through like like those kind of sounds. Huh. But they come through when I'm running the call. So who the fuck knows? All right, let's get we're we're gonna we're gonna get through this. This is at one point two five speed. Uh, normally she talks a lot slower. This one she's a little quicker, but. I want to get to the part where she rages. Dirty. Oh, wait. Really Brett Keen. Like, Cernian says, like, Brett Keen slow. Whatever happened to that guy? Oh, he's still around somewhere. Shitting Va- you me? Know, Is he you're, still a fake you, Christian? You remember Von Helton? Yeah. yeah. He's, he's still around. A- apparently, fucking Nephilim is still around. I never I never hear of those guys anymore. I'm no. sure they never hear of me. Either. Yeah, they, they don't hear about me or this show for sure. Like if if like if we're if we're um playing the popularity game, but the the idea that those guys cuz cuz we're not doing the same exact thing that we were doing back then. They are. Mm-hmm. That's the difference. Von Helton still blaming like Von Helton had his kids removed for the 12th time. Literally. Oh, Jesus Christ. The 12th time. Uh, recently took a picture of a... Uh, he had puppies, and nobody would give him money for dog food. So he p- posted a picture of a dead dog in the trash. His trash. Jesus. Yeah, and, and was basically blaming the trolls because they let his dog starve. He's like... What the fuck? Absolutely cuckoos for Cocoa Puffs. Uh, he is a... Um, what is he now? He he streams with a dude named J Dubs, who is a former Christian turned Jew turned Muslim. Former Christian turned Jew turned Muslim. That's quite yeah, a quite a stretch, I know. Yeah. Uh, and Von Helton is is a uh, um, uh, believes in multiple gods. He says the gods speak to him, so he's a polytheist. Okay. Also, by the way, I got Paganist, an idea from the will. from the puppy thing i'm gonna buy a lamborghini and then like park it with the tank on e at the gas station and like berate my followers like why don't i have it why don't you send me gas money dude the fucked up thing is if you actually did that as a live stream you'd probably make like a lot of money (laughs) that's it's fucked up man it you would think the shit that doesn't uh, it takes no effort these fuckers that we're looking at right now shani and rev they're living in a cheap ass motel room all right, that somebody else was paying for. They were, and they are on government assistance and accepting money and shit from people. They're buying like fast food and uh, Delta Eight, which is like diet weed and uh, all this kind of shit. They they don't seem to uh, they they don't seem to fail hard enough. Like they are complete failures, but somehow there is someone out there supporting them. Whereas mm. on this fucking show. I got to struggle for a motherfucking like super chat or a stream labs. You know what I mean? Like, and I feel like I, I'm actually trying to be entertaining here. They are just like, um, uh, happy to be infamous, I guess. Like, yeah, it, it blows my mind how anyway. And I think a lot of them like, uh, Shani and Rev have two cats and Vaughn has the dogs. And I think they use those animals to manipulate people. Because even if you hate me, you don't hate my dog, right? You don't want to see my dog go hungry. So you give maybe, me some money for dog food, right? Maybe it's train wreck donations and people don't want to see them go away because of the entertainment value. Which, if that's the case, TJ, you should start. I was going to say you should start being more cringe, but never mind. You got that covered. Yeah, I've tried everything, bro. <laughs> I'm I'm uh, I've I've given up with this shit at this point. I'm I'm uh I'm this close to starting to make videos on my Coctopus channel again. 
but that's that's a, a hit and miss thing you as can, well because I can't you know live stream really well? or take super chats or anything on that channel. You know what always gets a lot of views? Like on you could I don't know if I like on TikTok or whatever the kids do nowadays. You could start doing like twerking videos. Sure. Speaking of twerk, uh, these two have never fucking heard of it. Uh, Jason has never held a job in his entire life. Mm -hmm. Shani uh, held like a couple of menial jobs for short periods of time. Now she thinks this is work. It's really funny because Shani, when Shani streams online, that's her doing a job. But when Jason does it, that's not a job. And he needs to go get a job to support her. Ah, I love ah. those double standards. Nice, yeah. nice. Everything Shani has is double. In, in, <laughs> her, her fucking thighs. Her fucking <laughs> facial warts, all that shit. I really don't care. You know, I am grateful for what I what I am, and I am very grateful of what I'm accomplishing. Even though I'm highly against all odds, you know, and I'm certainly not going to quit YouTube if the ad revenue I'm getting for YouTube is paying my cell phone and my power bill. Uh, those. I would just. I would just like to say, if uh, if there's any f utter fool out there, fool, who thinks that twerking is no longer relevant, I would have them know that it's always relevant. <laughs> That's all. That's, uh, I wasn't. I wasn't trying to reach anyone in particular. I'm just putting that bit of info out there. What the hell just what just happened? The idea I in my mind like you wanted to say that a minute ago, but but the old lady just walked out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, all right. So whew, moving along from Dark Matter wanting to see Shanny twerk. Those are the main two important bills that I need to get paid. Uh, wait, wait, actually. I'm making so much money on YouTube where I can pay my power bill, my internet bill, and my phone bill. So she's bragging mm -hmm. about how, like, how much she's making to cover these three bills. Uh, where yeah. they're living at the time, the rent was like three grand. What? Yeah. It's a lux That's crazy. luxury apartment. That's way too much. Yeah. So this, my wait, house wouldn't be like three they, grand in rent if I didn't own it. They are um, coming up on being broken, evicted at this point, and she's bragging about how she can pay off a couple of the smaller bills. She'll actually say here in a second, uh, rent is another issue, but we're working on that. So I can pay all three of those bills. Rent, on the other hand, that's challenging right now. We'll figure it out, but. That's because the, the, it's $36,000 the yeah, a year. The, the narrator jumps in and says, eh, spoiler alert, they did not figure it out. They mm -hmm. got evicted. Then they went and moved into the house they sold to G-Man, lived there, tried to trash the place enough that G-Man would give it back to them. Like the whole drama that's gone on with them recently is insane. But uh, G-Man eventually kicked them out and was paying for a motel for them. And then they burn that bridge. Uh, so now they're they're, they're I mean, like this close to homeless for God knows how long. To be to be honest though, like if someone gives you a house for a dollar, and then all of a sudden they're in like dire straits and they need a house, I mean, you'd kind of be a dick to just not give it back to them. Okay, <laughs> bitch, motherfucker, you you give me a taco. All right, and then and then later on you're hungry. Well, it's my job to fucking barf up the taco and fucking feed you like a baby bird. Fuck no, out of here. But, if you're but well off would... enough to sell a house for a dollar, while while G Man at the time was like homeless, and you are correct, age of atheism. I am a bit in fat 
infatuated with it. I, I do. I find it fascinating. I find these people. This is Jerry Springer mixed with uh, my 600 pound life mixed with like fucking uh, the shittiest televangelism you've ever seen. Like, that's what we're watching. How could you not be fascinated by this shit? I I am blown away every time they make content. I am I am like I'm like because at first you're like oh it's just dumb shits online right? Who the fuck cares about that? But the more you learn about these people, the more ridiculous it gets, and then you realize here say something dark matter. Testing testing. Yeah, your background noise starts creeping up. I think you have fuck. A, you have a setting where it's like a. Uh, blocking that shit out until you're silent for too long and then it like it tries to compensate for the background noise anyway i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna look at my sound settings and see if there's anything in there do whatever but i mean we it's not that bad we can survive Uh, but yeah it's totally fascinating these people have failed at every level they they uh squandered 700 grand had their kids taken away um are are like lost the apartment they were living in lost the house that they sold sold for a dollar um that just every like every day, Jason, her boyfriend, the crazy motherfucker, is like begging for food, and it it's not just like, hey, we're starving, I'll take anything. He's like, bless us with a pizza. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, you know, oh, make sure it's got extra Jesus pepperoni on it or some shit. Like, get the, Testing. you know, it, you're good. Yeah, I can still hear you. Testing. Um, I I was uh, I'm sorry, I was doing that more to myself because I'm messing with the levels but you're good uh uh okay so so tell me i can answer a lot of questions i i have uh wasted way too much of my life um feeling better about myself by watching these assholes so if you have any questions about like their history or any of that kind of shit feel free i've got I honestly want somebody to come up with a playlist and it's called the history of Shanny and they find the oldest clip available and start there and in chronological order cover like put every Shanny video available online in that playlist up until it gets to the current shit and then you can just keep adding it and you gotta say something really already yep what the fuck? I just your your background noise like it when you're quiet it starts <laughs> ramping up the background noise until you say something and then it readjusts. Just telling you what what's happening, bro. Maybe fuck. maybe I'll tell you, I'll tell you what we'll we'll deal with it right now. When I just say say something, you just go la 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 and we'll get over it for the show. But then come All back right. and watch this episode and listen to what the rest of us hear, and maybe, right. maybe it'll help you troubleshoot it. But. Uh, or the better solution, just talk more often. Interrupt me. I don't give a fuck. Like, Usually people do uh, want to hear my voice way, way more. Oh, fuck yeah. Ask Manda. Manda was practically begging me to interrupt her last episode. You should watch that. She was like, God, I wish a real manly man like you would, would jump in and interrupt me more often, TJ. You're so great uh, at that. You just... I- Take my word. I'm guessing that that isn't quite as accurate as she might say, but it's close enough. Just take my word for it. <laughs> Look at her. She's don't, she's not even in the chat right now. Don't pay attention to any words she's saying. Account hacked. Yes. I'm certainly not going to quit a job where I'm making just as much as I would on minimum minimum wage. You know, that's right. that's very... F- so, we're going to skip forward a little bit to where she's reading the chat and they're trolling her, all right? She's too good for minimum wage. Got it. Well, she's like, I wouldn't leave a job where I'm essentially making the same as minimum wage. She Her excuse is that she's too sick to work and that this uh-huh. is her only option. As if uh, other, like, work-from-home online jobs don't exist. But... What blows my mind is she claims that this is her only option and she refuses to put in the most basic effort. You see what we're doing right here? 
Yeah. This is literally the most basic effort you could put in. I no, you not not really. You you did get me on the show. Okay, but I'm saying like look at the setup, look at the topic, look at the like the fuck it like nothing about this is like overly crazy. I don't have but you like, did get like, an A list celebrity. B list. And that's only if right. if B stands for bald. <laughs> Damn it. Damn now it. you were that close to <laughs> No, no, look. Uh any time that I'm like earlier my neighbor, um, who actually is very Ooh. nice and brought me tacos. I just, I just, tacos. DJ, I, I it's Skype. I just turned off noise cancellation. Let's see if that works. Okay, well let's I guess we'll find out whether it makes it uh, better or worse. But uh, my, it never happens when I'm recording for videos and shit. Well, obviously, I hope not. You should be constantly talking into the microphone when you're recording audio. This is when your uh, your microphone is open and you're not speaking. That's true, what's true. happening. Anyway, we'll figure it out. But my neighbor, like, here's your compliment. My neighbor, I definitely can hear more background noise from you now. It's like it's just static though. It's not a big deal. Um, Let me. But I my can, neighbor, I, I told him I had a, a show tonight, and he's like, "Oh, you know," and I was like, "Yeah, I got to run this one. It's like you know, with uh, with my." co-host because i don't use screen names when i talk in real life it feels weird so i just say my co-host in the tampa area and he's like he's like oh the uh the the cartoon guy and i was like yeah yeah that's him and i was like you know that guy makes like a living off of fucking youtube and you know and he's like no way and he's like show me a shit so i showed him one of your videos i forget which uh-oh. one uh oh there it is i hear it coming back it's coming back. Uh, oh, I maybe, turned, maybe it would. I don't know. Maybe it's just more my more sensitive now. Anyway, I here. turned I turned noise cancellation all sure. the way up, and, and then I, my next option is to turn it all the way down. All right, leave it leave it where it's at right now. It seems to be doing okay. But I showed him one of your videos, and it was the um, like uh, questions God can't answer or whatever. It was I don't uh, remember that. It was way. It's one of your fucking more popular videos uh, from like nine years ago, though. And uh, okay. it's basically people like, like it's the oh, one where, where he's like, "What's it feel yeah. like to motorboat a set of big bazongas?" Yeah. Like, and all yeah, that shit. Got it. They loved it. They thought it was great. I was like, "Yeah." They're like, "Oh, it's funny." I was like, "Yeah, that guy makes a living off of this shit." Not only that, he fucking drives a Lotus. And they're like, "Holy shit!" I should start making <laughs> terrible fucking YouTube animations. <laughs> yeah. He said terrible, huh? No, I added that, but you <laughs> okay. get the fucking point. Um, but yeah, I do, I do mention, I was like, this son of a bitch. And I I always mention it every time. I was like, this fucker was watching my videos before he started making any. And now look at him. I was like, that, that pisses me off more than anything. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of proud of it. Like somebody that, you know, but that's the same as saying like, you know, like I took notes for fucking Abraham Lincoln or something. This is not the same. I sent, I sent you, uh, before you knew who I was, I sent you a message, a private message, when YouTube still had that ability. Yeah. And, and it was a, a link to a, a, a really good facepalm clip of, it was when Worf facepalmed at Data singing. Yes. Like, I was like, use this in one of your videos. <laughs> I did. I did. I remember using, I, I was very adamant about uh, when I did the facepalm clips um, that every single uh, like I would use every suggestion that people gave me and, yeah. and a lot of personal people made like a lot of personal, um, submissions and I tried yeah. to use all of them. That was like a, yeah, that was, I'm pretty sure that I, there are some things that I feel like I, I'm not saying that like I started the trend, but I certainly helped, uh, the trend become as popular as it is or as it became. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like I, yeah. I was involved. In, like the face palm shit, face palmy was like, yeah, and then like it really kind of took off for a while. What was the other shit? Um, damn I, it! I, oh, I, go ahead. Sorry. I think I think fuck Fox News was. Uh, I think might have played a bigger role than you think in getting people to realize how partisan Fox News is. Well, that I would feel great if that was the truth. I I tend not to give myself too much credit because, you know, even now I look back on that channel's uh, like the views and it's pretty decent. But uh, 
what I'm hoping is that it hits somebody that like did real work with it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, liberal viewer. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like somebody like that. Like, if I is he still you, around? Oh yeah, I'm still huh. a patron of his. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. He uh, he still cranks them out, and that that guy, he puts in more effort than than we do. He watches yeah. all of the Sunday fucking talk show, like news talk shows, and then takes all the fucking best clips and covers them. How, how the fuck did he survive four years of Trump? I mean, he must have been inundated with material. I still have people that ask. That, that I have uh, conservatives. They're like, oh, you got real quiet when Trump got elected. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, it coincided with me getting fucking tired of like doing this shit. Uh, you, would, you wouldn't even know where to begin. Yeah. Like, there's too much. The gish gallop is ridiculous. What, am I supposed to make fucking, like, 18 videos a day covering every fucking dumb thing he says? But, like, I, I, I was talking to the old lady, actually, earlier today about this, and I was like, it's the, like, this moron said something stupid, um, but is still going to be successful and supported. That's the story of the day, right? And then what's the story the next day? This moron said something fucking totally stupid, but he's still going to be su supported and successful. That's depressing. Okay, what's the story the next day? Okay, so it's the same story every fucking day, and then you expect that not to wear on you. The dumbest people saying the dumbest shit never get held accountable and are far more wealthy and successful than I will ever be. Wow. What a uh, a great thing to remind myself of on a daily basis to the point where it drives me nuts. It's yeah. essentially what happens. Uh, this is that's why I enjoy these is because like I get to choose what I'm talking about. While we still talk about like politics or religion or shit, um, I don't. I'm not forced to deal with that only, and I really don't want to feel like I'm forced into talking about shit that drives me nuts. Like. I spent years shitting on like the conservative media and it just never stops. It just never stops. Oh, now crackly, say something. Okay, I'm going to try the opposite direction. Yes, and opposite. see if that works. Yeah, quad I I literally my success was like extremely measured. Uh I I did I did not you know, and I'm okay, but here's the thing. I never expected that in the first place. The the success of this podcast is is about what I expected. Like and, and but what I expected for my original channel too. Like I didn't expect my uh you know to gain any kind of viewership. And honestly, it puts more pressure on you than anything. It's pressure to put out better in you like so, so pressure forms diamonds but it also crushes rocks. You know what I mean? So, like, while it might force you to come up with a great fucking video that's the diamond in the rough, like, it it crushes my, uh, it, for me, it crushed the, the uh, expressiveness and the wanting to just be able to, like, because when you have, like, a thousand subscribers, it's like, whatever. You can fuck up and it's not a big deal. You get like mm -hmm. 10,000, it's a little bit more of a big deal. And where I was eventually, which was like, Jesus, 36 or something like that, 1,000, mm -hmm. somewhere in that range. And I was like, eh. Like, I, I literally made uh, dozens of videos that never got uploaded. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Not, uh, I say dozens. It was probably like 15. But that was towards uh -huh. the end. No, I never second guessed myself in the beginning. I second guess myself when I like a larger and larger audience. Yeah. Now I feel like I have to do a, a better and better, more polished job. And like, if I made a video and I didn't like the way it was and I couldn't edit it to the, be the way I liked it, then it, I just left it by the wayside. <clears throat> I, I'm sure you've done that a couple times, right? You've never, yeah. You've, yeah. I mean, it, it happens. That's, but it happened more as your viewership increased. Like, cause you, you're, you're automatically saying I have this many more people that are going to be viewing it. I need to make it that much better. Yeah. And, uh, it, it kind of, you know, it wears on you. It cracks your, your creative side a little bit and it, um, it, it makes you feel like you're a little bit more locked in. 
And that's one of the things I love about... Uh, uh, that's one of the reasons I keep doing this podcast. I don't give a fuck if we have, like, almost nobody watching. But I can do whatever the fuck I want. And I feel like if there was a shitload of people watching, I wouldn't be able to do whatever I want. And that's kind of what, like... So the low viewership almost um, is beneficial to my creativeness. Or my ability to want to talk about shit. I don't give a fuck if you guys don't want to talk about Shanny. Or whatever, like I, I mean, I, I care that you like you don't care about this, but I put it in the title. If you don't want to watch it, just don't come, just don't show up. It's that easy. I want to cover this is what I want to put dark matter through this, uh, and and this this one is the fucking this is the the lightweight shit, bitch. The good stuff is coming on later. All right. Yeah, but like what you're saying is kind of similar to how I feel about. So sometimes I want to do uh, like a, an animated story about something that has nothing to do with the God debate or anything like that. And I th- always think, well, you know what? Nobody's going to watch that, you know, because that's what they know my channel for. That's why they come to me. And it's like, I don't know. It is a little limiting. It it puts you like if someone gets to know you for if. a lo- it, OK. If five people get to know you for a topic, it's one thing. But if like five thousand people get to know you because you talk about something, it feels yeah. you feel more obligated to it. And if it's right. fifty thousand, that's like that much more so. And then five hundred thousand, get the fuck out of here. I'm not like I'm nervous as shit trying to come up with an idea to improve, or impress, and improve upon half a million fucking viewers. Um, you know what? I see Grant talking a lot of shit. A lot, and uh, so I'm gonna try and see if I can't add him. He said he tried to 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 get into the call. That that. Well, I would have to want him in here, which is different. Where's the plus anymore? Why? Why is Skype's like? Hey, uh, I know nobody's using us anymore, but how about we totally fuck it up? There's no like plus to add someone to the Is it call at the bottom. Add where it says add participants. Uh, next to okay, I see it. It's a, like I have my window too small. Whatever. Leave me alone, uh, Grant. What are you still under? I don't remember. Is it Grant? <laughs> I, I like. Don't you like it when a program says when a program has a a button at the top and they decide to improve it by the button to the bottom. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's like we've improved our site. The play button used to be on the bottom left. Now it's on the bottom right. Like what? <laughs> it, that's not improving anything. You're just changing shit to try and be relevant. I it I, it says I'm calling Grant right now. Grant, answer your Skype. Two of three in the call. Grant can keep us on track. Yeah. Well. Oh. Oh. Well, Grant. I do need some. Assistance. I don't. I, he, there he is. Oh. You, hello. Turn on your microphone, you little bitch. You're not going to be able to tell me to get back on on topic without your microphone on. <laughs> in the me, in the meantime. That You're whole time, no, um, nobody's frozen. No, nobody's frozen. Uh, I don't think. Well, maybe for you because I didn't have OBS open. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, but, you were uh, frozen then. No, the Shanny here is just fucking mindlessly reading the chat, and it only serves to infuriate her, which is goddamn fucking fantastic. Okay. Listen, I'm trying to pay for my family, and you're making it hard for me. How about just support me? Like I supported you guys when you, are you had are you tough it now? When you got yeah, can you not hear it? There's there's no no there's no audio or and in, in, in the video was. Oh, uh, it's because I added Grant. Grant, you are fucking all of this up, buddy. You, are you even here, Grant? It shows that he's muted. Yeah, you're muted, buddy. Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself, and I'm gonna reshare the screen apparently because I need to do that. 
Grant left. He's going to try and rejoin. All right. Uh, stop sharing. I'll wait for him to read. God damn it, Grant. <coughs> My shit is jack. Well, hold on. Read it in Grant's voice. Hold up, guys. My shit is all jacked up. I think I might have to restart my laptop. Anyway, we're going to watch this in the meantime. You let me know when you're ready, Grant. You guys needed money. I was there when I had money to give you money. Go out and free, free some more Wait, slaves. Bear, get rid of all these people. Like, if you were concerned about my children, you would actually be like, okay, let's push Shannon up on YouTube. Let's try to make her successful. Let's not try to tear her down and try to make her look like this horrible person when she isn't. That argument she just used right there, people are like... You're oh, wait, you are playing stuff? God damn it. You're, the screen isn't... I thought you were... This, I, I don't I was see waiting, the screen no, it's, yet. it's my fault. I was waiting for Grant, but he's taking forever. So I'm just going to share the screen again, and we'll do it again when Grant shows up, all right? All right. We'll just do it the hard way. All right. Start sharing. There you go. You see that? Unfortunately, yeah. Yes, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> so in the... Uh, part that you didn't hear right there she's like if you actually cared about me you'd be and my kids you'd be trying to build up my channel okay uh and not trying to break me down essentially she's, she's saying she's kind of right she's kind of right because i've done absolutely nothing to help build up her channel because i don't care <laughs> but is it your fault that her kids have been taken away for the sixth time by cps no no exactly but but apparently, if you say, "Hey, you should be a better mother," all you do is stream all day long. She that's like not building her up. What you got to do is build up her channel, and then she'll finally start taking care of her kids. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, it works that way, I guess. Smart. Like you guys are going to such extremes where you go to my cooking and bitch and complain about it, trying to make me look bad. How does that have anything to do with my bad behavior? Is me literally cooking for my family? Okay. <laughs> what? She so she does cooking videos and she does like all these drama all this drama shit. It's this is the question she asks is this is the same as like um if Hitler made a las like uh my favorite lasagna video and then was like I don't understand why no one likes my my lasagna video. I've done, I've done nothing to them. All it was was lasagna. Like, bro, you're a terrible person. I don't want to see you cook anything. Thumbs down. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see Mussolini's fucking, like, you know, moose. <laughs> I don't want to see fucking, like, you know, uh, what's some other ones? Uh, um... General, <laughs> I was about to just name off a Chinese dish as if it was an actual general. General Chow's chicken. All right, <laughs> but like, I if if General, you know, you get my point. You can't be a complete piece of shit ninety percent of the time, and then be like, and also my if Bob Ross, right, was was like a fucking like a kitty diddler. Nobody would want to watch him paint. I guess is mm -hmm. my point. Do you understand? It's you can't just be a total piece of shit and then put out a cooking video and expect people to forget you being a piece of shit because this time you're just making spaghetti. You fucking idiot. Can someone please just explain that to me? What is the so, so was that music edited in or is she watching something with that music? It's edited in. Oh, okay. Um and unfortunately it's one of the only versions of this you can find anymore like without going through somebody else covering the original version. Yeah. She's had so many YouTube channels get deleted like and and yeeted and removed and shit like some of the older clips are harder to find and there's a lot of archive channels but so you know I, I don't how have big are, how big time. does her channel get where she's able to afford to pay three bills with it? She's full of shit. Ah, uh, her if anyone if she paid three bills one month, it's because she begged extra hard. These people, uh, uh, I don't want to spoil anything for you. I don't want to give you all the info. This is just the, t the but we're not quite to the part where here. Let me get to the. 
Oh, good. Get it off of that screen. No, that no, face no. that you oh. paused it on. No, it, it doesn't get any better. Like, is that better? No. no. Don't put me down and call me a terrible person for doing everything in my power to make money and, and help my family. You know how awful it is when you're trying to help your family out? When you're on your... From angry to crying, it's always a good sign. She also does mm -hmm. something that infuriates me. Like, it makes me fucking, my, my skin fucking curl. She does this thing where she keeps talking when she's out of breath. Mm -hmm. Do you want, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. It's like if you were, if you had something to say and you kept saying it and saying it and saying it and saying it and saying it, and eventually you're running out of breath and then you just keep on talking to you oh, you're out of breath. Oh. Like uh -huh, you know, okay. that thing. She does that. And it yeah. drives me fucking crazy. She doesn't inhale when she smokes. That drives me crazy because it's a waste, right? Um, she won't take any responsibility. She blames everything on her physical problems, which are all because of her own laziness and uh, eating habits. Um, the only disease she'll claim not to have is diabetes. Everything else she's got. She got fibromyalgia and fucking uh, arthritis and fucking... Uh, you know, MS and fucking um, uh, needs a double knee replacement and all that shit. Mm -hmm. It's bad. Uh, but she gets angry here. This is why it's the rage one. Grant, are you ready? You tell me. And hi, Raven. How you doing? You tell me. Less legs and everyone in their power are trying to fucking tear you down. Oh, and take every last little fucking me. resource you have. What? Did you say something? <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't speak over that, whatever that is, yelling at us right now. Yeah. Well, w welcome, I, I, welcome to the podcast, sir. You get to listen to <laughs> Shanny with the rest of us. Happy day for you. <laughs> I cannot believe I got you to join a Shanny show. It's because dark matters here. She, I know it. I know it. You, she was. Yeah, I, all I heard was her screaming incoherently, and then Grant's calm voice in the background. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah exactly. It's like, I don't know what the <laughs> hell I was thinking joining this bullshit. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, here, I'm here as a way to uh, keep your ass in line when you get on these fucking tangents. Okay. What, yeah, what it I used, used to, to be do... Drew. Drew used to crack the yeah, whip, and then, and, and, and then, then now it's just the fucking, yeah, it's, it's the, it, the inmates are in the asylum. So what yeah. I need you to do, Grant, is set a 30-second timer. And any time I pause this video, you start a 30-second timer. All right? And that's the only way we're going to get through I'm going to be more lenient than that. I mean... Well, okay, a 30-second timer that you can pause when anyone Grant. but me is talking. All right, Grant, just keep in mind that 45 seconds is enough for him to get to, like, insurance and dentistry. <laughs> it's true. Oh. And it's, it's enough time for him to do other things as well. Like, you give me 55 seconds and we're getting into taxes. Yeah, that's true. They've even called the, the place where we get our food stamps trying to get it taken away from me. They've even done that. They, they uh, I, I do need to point out that back in the day, Shani and Rev um, used to shit on people who got food stamps. And they used to say things like, Tyrone can go get a steak and lobster with his EBT. These, then they, then they people like that feet. always seem yeah. to have very short-term memories, don't they? Yeah, and next thing you know, they are uh, broke and on EBT. It's uh, crazy how that works. Uh, please Uber. tell me there's like compilation videos that put those two side by side. Oh, ab those two absolutely, there are some fantastic. Those are the best. We should cover some Fat Photog stuff uh, later. He's a great channel, but I do. I this is. I want to expose you to some of the most like ridiculous shit, Dark Matter. This is really towards you. I've already been exposed to this. Most of the people who know Shu, Shani, and Revar have been exposed to it. This is almost strictly for like to get you to cringe. Because you hate me. Because mm. I want you to suffer like me. There's a difference. <laughs> There's a difference there. Where, where Jason was supposed to work and they got him fucking fired. It's they weren't even hired him because of the shit they said. Motherfucker, that's there's a, she has her own category. Yeah, I like to call it shan shanigans. <laughs> so you're asking me to go try to fucking find a job when all you do is every time I try to get a job is you get me fired. 
She's talking about having a YouTube channel removed. That's oh. that's her being fired from her job. Got it. How is that fair? I'll go look for a job so we can get you fired from it so we can all laugh about it. Stay mad? Stay mad that you're tearing someone's life apart, that you're destroying their life? Fuck you, Bran. You piece of fucking shit. Wait, is that Bran from uh, you Geek Room? Absolutely. Bran Riffs. <laughs> Shout out. I fucking love Bran. That's my boy. If I if that I dude, that's could, funny. dude, if I could fucking pick like uh like if there is a proper replacement for Drew, I think it's it's Bran. Like I and that's no offense to like I, I love some and Raven or whatever. I'm just talking about like a Drew kind of delivery and mentality and, and sh- uh, the way he ran the sh- he runs his show and shit like that. Bran is a fucking master at that shit. Um he is he is uh one hundred percent. What was the fucking thing that I heard him say the other? Oh, I I use it on the. Po- it's stuck in my mind so much. I fucking said it myself on the podcast the other day. Uh, higher than giraffe pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude, I love it. I fucking love it. I'll eat that shit with a spoon. All right. On in the lake of fire. Like you belong in lake of fire. You belong in the leg of failure. Food fair failure. You piece of fucking shit human, garbage human. All you do is make fun of people. All you do is make fun of people. And you laugh at them when you see pain in their eyes. And you make fun of black people. And you tell black people their skin color doesn't even look human. <coughs> and then you call me racist. And then you stupid bro guy supports that fucking asshole who says that black men's skin don't even look human. Uh, her and her boyfriend have dropped the N-bomb angrily. Multiple right. times. I, I think I think what's happening here is there was probably a little bit or something that Brand or somebody had done, yeah. and she's and she's heard people get on her for dropping the bomb and shit over and over. That she found the one thing, like, ooh, I can nail them with it. So when time came, it got brought up. Oh, hey, Raven J, you're trying to delete a moderator's message there. While everyone else bans TinderHot.xyz, I just made them a mod. What? In the you chat, did what? In the chat, Tinder-Hot.xyz was leaving uh, links to uh, to shit. Like, you know, yeah. and, and norm- it's, a, it's a spam thing, but I made them a mod. But Why? Why'd you do that? Why not? What, what the fuck are they going to do with it? It's a bot. They haven't they left a single another everybody. comment. Not one one additional comment have they left. That I'm waiting mean, for it. When they start deleting everybody else from the fucking channel. It's a bot, bro. There's no person doing this. <laughs> no person is spending their time doing this. All right, all right, all right. What happened? And you're black! That's how fucking dumb you are! You see blatant, horrible racism, and you fucking ignore it, and you laugh about it with them. I have a job. I have three. Three channels. And I'm driving myself nuts, working, working, working. Dude, there's no video. Okay, so it's not just me. It froze. Yeah. What in the? F- All right. Mm-mm. Well, there's video on and your all I'm doing end is just facing uh, adversary almost. every time. I can't get a fucking break. It's like leave me the fuck alone and let me live. So when she says she's working, 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 uh, she says she has three jobs. She thinks she's doing one of those jobs right now. Think she thinks she's clocked in. You know what? She she reminds me of something that like I, I see a lot of people do. A lot of like broke ass people do that they can't find a job or whatever. They call themselves entrepreneurs and just like ruin the fuck out of that word. Yeah. Oh, it's same as Elon Musk. I, I, <laughs> He's the entrepreneur well, that steals ideas from other people and then just pumps money into it. Uh, well, that's, he's got that, the money to begin with. That's called a vulture uh, <laughs> capitalist. That's not entrepreneur. There's two different things. And what I'm saying is like there are the people that are like true entrepreneurs don't go around calling themselves that. I mean, what I'm getting to is I'm surprised she's not calling herself that right now. Yeah, well, she's, you know, I'm bringing a product to people and da da da. I'm, I'm actually surprised as well because if you didn't know, she and her boyfriend claim to be archangels. Uh, her she was a uh, Sandalphon and he was uh, what was it? It's it's not Met- Megatron. It's uh, Met- Metatron well, or something like that. They think they're Arch- first name again. 
Sandalfon. And they've made that up? I don't know. I, I, I never took the time to fucking look it up. It sounds, we, everyone says it's appropriate to call her a whale because a sand dolphin is almost like a beached whale. Uh, I mean, I, I give credit where credit is due. Uh, yeah, yeah. Metatron, yeah. It's it's ridiculous. They're out of control. All right. I want to get to the total rage part so we can move on to the other ridiculous shit. Fu- this one is classic. Like, everyone's seen this. Fucking life! How about that? Or do, you want, or do you really want to see someone hurting themselves? Because this is what this type of behavior leads. It's the most disgusting internet fucking behavior I have ever seen in my entire fucking life. It's the most disgusting shit. Sandal fun. It's the most disgusting shit. And Sandal- then you fuckers say I deserve. What is Sandal fun? I'm I'm reading this from an actual book. I have uh, Sandal fun. <clears throat> Hang on, let me take off my glasses. You fucking old fuck. Is an angelic prince said to have originally been Elijah, the prophet of Israel. Apparently, Elijah turned into Sandalphon when he was transported to heaven in a burning chariot by a whirlwind while still alive. And I knew, that, I, I knew it was something that they had to derive off of something else. There's no way they could have made something like that up. And in, in rabbi, rabbinic lore, Sandalphon is the twin brother of the angel Metatron. Okay, so Metatron, that Metatron is Rev. They claim to be yeah, those archangels. Like, That's their fucking story. That's their they're spiel. They're pretending to be like brother and sister, twin brother. So uh, they're they're both males. They're both brothers. Let's be honest. A woman that size uh, probably has where, a, a penis size clitoris. <laughs> uh, Metatron carries prayers through nine hundred heavens up to God. Uh, according to another legend, when the prayer is in Hebrew, Sandalphon joins with him in making a garland of such prayers for the faithful to adorn the head of the Lord. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. I need you to be explaining this to me as if you were like a... Um... But he can't. No, no. Okay, who who do we want? Do, do, a, do a Sagan. Oh, no. Explain oh. it to me in Sagan style. That's what I, I need you to explain mm, this. Sandal fun. Yes. Sandal yes. fun is yes. one of the tallest celestial creatures in heaven. It would be more than 500 year journey to travel from his toes to the top of his head. And Moses once referred to him <laughs> as the tall angel. <laughs> Sandalfond is credited with being in charge of different heavens according to different sources. The fourth, according to Islamic tradition. The sixth, as asserted in the third chapter of the Book of Vinak. And the seventh, according to Zohar. In any case, his battles persistently against the evil and formidable Samael. <laughs> Samael, that's my fucking dude. I I uh, I used to have a friend who was in a band called Samael. So why There's did an they actual sign band with that name? Why would uh, they yeah, pick I mean, this this angel? A five hundred year journey to travel from his toes to the top of his head. That's almost as tall as you, TJ. It's close. But I mean, I'm imagining on someone like Shani. That's a lot of. Uh... How do I put this? Uh, mountains and valleys to travel. More mountain, more mountains than valleys. Yeah, probably, probably. <laughs> God only knows. <laughs> oh God damn it! I don't want to think about it. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta get. Here, I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna skip to where she's getting mad. All right. So because the stuff coming up, up after this is fucking fan. Oh, when you just cheat them in the fucking past, you keep someone will never grow from that if you actually cared for me, if you actually loved with me, if you actually fucking cared, if you were actually a human being, you would leave me alone and let me live my fucking life. That's what it is. Not sure if you're aware, but leaving you alone is very easy to do if you just don't put your shit out there. 
Mm. To to put your like if if someone was making um true crime documentaries and someone was making fun of their weight or whatever or something like that, that would be like, you know, it it doesn't really it, it doesn't mesh the same. She uh claims to be like a child of God and she thinks she's hot as shit and she thinks she's fucking like, you know, literally God's gift to man and shit like that when she is obviously like, holy shit, dude. Can you, can you, Oh my God. Can you imagine, by the way, dark matter? I know you're, you're going to say that, uh, she's one of the haired ones, Uh huh. but I have proof. Otherwise, uh, why? <laughs> you could thank fucking uh you could you could thank fucking um, god damn it um uh fat photog for that he's he's a genius she recently cut her hair and that was his take on it um anyway uh we, we got to finish this you get a job all you guys keep saying get a job and you're here all fucking day where are your fucking jobs why are you constantly online fuckers Where are your fucking jobs? It looks like none of you have fucking jobs because your job is 100% trying to harass me! Trying to tear me down! That's what it is! You can tell she feels guilty about not having a job. Yeah. For tearing people down and all the other stuff that she's naming. Dude, like, she... The last time before this that she held a job was, like, two or three years before this point and and she, I think she worked at like a video store when they had those before <laughs> that. that's a, that's a long time ago that's what I'm saying dude job is to tear me down to treat me like shit to try to get me to commit suicide that's what you guys do cruel fucking human beings you are cruel fucking human beings who antagonize and 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 antagonize oh let's get them fired from their jobs so they don't have anything to antagonize her you know what's funny is she's saying you she said they're cruel fucking human beings but like a couple minutes ago she's she was saying that they belong in a lake of fire like there's there's a clearly a disconnect there dude this is somebody who their in her entire family has disowned her when her father died she she was not invited to the funeral when when the mother mm-hmm. died she was not invited to the funeral her entire Kinda makes sense dude entire family is done with her all right like and and her uh cps took her kids six times this last time they took them that they're never coming back it was the sixth time she married point- she married her last husband before Rev was a guy named Chris. She married him in order to get her kids back. At what point do you say maybe it's me? For her never. <laughs> never. I we're watching like years okay. old shit right now. The the her new shit is no different. Mm. No different. She has not changed it's- one bit and she's only gotten fatter. <laughs> well, two things is you know one she's like a burden to like everything she comes across, like everything. Yeah, and and even the know, fucking she, she government. The, yeah, right. And she took the she's taken the easy way out that a lot of Christians do. They they feel like they can get away with or do anything when they have God on their side. Mm-hmm. You can't tell. You're not going to tell her anything different because only <laughs> God can judge her. Well, mm-hmm. let me. Like that. I, I'll I'll tell you real quick that she is uh, she uses religion as a point of manipulation and nothing else. Do you think Just she believes like majority? Uh, I think maybe she's convinced herself that she believes. But when she started this, she used to be an atheist. She claimed she had oh. atheist days. The clip that I showed. When uh, of her being like, oh, my God, tyrants did it. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel Castro took the guns. Hugo Chavez took the guns. And I'm here to tell you, 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. 
Stellar donated. <laughs> well, what is it going to do when they try Mama to take nine hundred ninety-seven mil, dude? Oh yeah, <laughs> damn. All right, look. Yeah, that that's uh that's seventeen dollars and seventy six cents towards the Alex Fund uh, bailout bill. Yeah, like, only only a few million more donations like that, and and he'll be set. Yeah. Uh, but you saw what Stella said. Thank you, by the way, Stella. Very appreciated. Uh, Stella wants more Sagan. So, uh, oh no, <laughs> you, you don't you don't have to do it right this second. But in the future videos, I would love some Sagan commentary on what you're hearing. Okay. All right. All right. So look, uh, Stella, we're gonna we're gonna make that happen. Uh, I don't want to waste it all here on this original first clip that we're playing because there's some good shit about to come up. I can go and say get a job constantly even though we get them fired. Nobody wants me to die. Bullshit. If you wanted me to live. Oh, and I'll I'll finish my point real quick. She she definitely uh, was like, oh, I used to watch Cocktopus Prime in my atheist days. Uh, she mm. she uses it's whatever thing she can use to manipulate <laughs> the situation. And so religion, the religious people are much, much easier to manipulate than the atheists. So that's why she did the same as Brett Keen. Brett Keen did the oh. same shit where he's like, oh, well, shit, religious people will give me money if I say I'm religious now. And he went with that direction. And yeah. you know what, dude, if I ever get super hard up, you know, maybe that's where I'll go. But I doubt it. I just can't make myself be that dumb. I just can't like dark when, matter, when, dark matter. Let's say that everything fell apart tomorrow and your main source of income was to pretend to be fucking Catholic or, or yeah. Scientologist. Could you do that? I couldn't. No, I, I mean, my, my, my mind is like, if I ever lose my YouTube channel, I'm, I'm going job hunting like everybody else. You know, I never think like, Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to scam a bunch of Christians now. It's like that doesn't even enter my mind. Bro, no. I got an idea for you. What that, you do, what you do is you against... you take your really successful YouTube channel and then you make a side channel that's a podcast and then you like get like 15 viewers. All right? That's what you do, bro. Mm -hmm. Take it from me. Okay. It pays Check. off. It pays off. <laughs> the occasional super chat for people like Stella, which by the way, much appreciated. But like like, like, yeah, I obviously am not doing this for fucking, like, clout or views or money or any of that shit. I have uh, deeper standards than that, and so does well, Dark Matter. Also, <laughs> it also goes against why, or it goes against why most of us are against religion to begin with. Yeah, it's yeah. a manipulation that, that's tool. the number one thing, yeah. And what gets me is a lot of these guys you'll hear make arguments they used to debunk it's like did you know what's wrong with that argument and you're using it now so yeah so uh christoph in the chat says dave rubin did it successfully really though did he like yeah. successfully to the point where well, until until he wants to adopt a kid and then everyone that he has uh gotten into his fold is like you're you're a fucking you know pedo P yeah. it, in yeah. terms of in terms of money making, yeah, he's been successful at it. That, that if that's the goal, then yeah, yeah, he's been if, successful at grifting for money. Sure, if if being so, true to yourself is the goal, then he has failed hard. Oh, well, dude, thing. Tinder we, hot. We don't whoa, know whoa, what whoa. his self is. Hold on, I gotta mod this Tinder hot real quick. Add moderator. There you go. I wasn't uh, convinced that I should go on tinder hot uh and, and risk my relationship with my wife until i saw those lip emojis dude and now yeah and now what dark matter you want to suck a big cock no no TJ. and i'm very glad that your screen is frozen right now so that i don't have to see you say that thank god for you there it is which there one's the uh the the ones at the angle or the ones that look like the Naughty America intro? I, I'm going with the first, the very first one. Okay. Slightly open there. I guess they all are, but. <laughs> Just to put this out there, you know that uh, Shani and Rev did their own OnlyFans, right? Oh, Jesus. Christ. Oh, no. Fuck. 
Yeah, that exists. Uh, it does. It's obviously. But how not... does that jive with their Christian content? Well, you see, in Shani's case, there's a lot of folds in of Christianity. Oh, fuck. All right, a lot of creases, if you will. Oh. If she wants to exploit that tenfold. <laughs> Guess whole the, new meaning to tenfold. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> the, the the band Avenged Sevenfold is named after her ass. <laughs> If you help me be successful, you wouldn't be tearing me down! Over everything! I try to make dinner for my family, and the whole time you're tearing me down! I try to play games on the internet, the whole time you're trying to tear me down! And then you act like you're fucking concerned, you're not! You're not! You don't say any nice positive things to me! You don't say anything good or edifying at all! You're all fucking phonies! You're all dead inside! You're all dead man's bones! And you're all gonna burn in the lake of fire for what you're doing to people. Because it's not only me you do this to. Her it's not only me. Her voice is getting deeper. <laughs> Yo, dude, yeah, she, she, uh, it, it, there's a difference. There's, there's feel sorry for Shani, which is a higher pitch voice. And then there's you should all be sorry, which is a much lower. Yeah. Demonic. There, there's nothing. She's got, there's she's nothing got about her. her creature's pulpit voice on right now. Dark Matter, can I, I will give you a challenge here. Name one thing that's attractive about this woman. Uh, 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 her eyebrows aren't that bad. <laughs> yes. Yeah, if you're not staring at the warts. I, I, are you sure that's not a third nipple? Or I was thinking it was her... Uh... Cycloptic. Yes, she, she's doing that like... <laughs> oh, fuck it, that's her third eye, third bro. Eye. Yeah, yeah, bro. You, you, she don't even have to spread her ass cheeks to show her third eye, <laughs> cause she can't. <sighs> Dude, I love how she itches oh, her fucking like. Is great. The music <laughs> fucking matches so good, <laughs> and the speed up actually does not uh, like doesn't do it too much uh, of a dis uh, injustice. But her scratching her fucking like unwashed head. She's almost got natural dreads at this point. Yeah, that's bad. God damn, bro. Like, and, and then uh, I'll, I'll give a little bit of a spoiler here. In the place they are living now, they claim the water has E. coli, so you can't bathe in it. Oh. So she literally has admitted to bathing with wet wipes. Oh, no. How many do you think have gotten lost? <laughs> bro <laughs> There's, I don't even want to think about it they've also admitted that Rev has to wipe her ass no uh, stop I'm not oh, playing bro you that's true love right there bro wait they had, they said that they, yeah yes Yeah, I, I don't have like the clip lined up or anything but yes they have admitted that uh, Rev has to wipe her ass She's she's too sick and lazy to do it herself. Plus, it takes like fucking four hands to try and spread one of those ass cheeks. So, <sighs> we're almost to the end of this one, and we get to move on. It's not only me. Do you know how fucking discouraging it is when you're getting trying to get a job and trying to do something? And these I need you to pay attention to the mood Dude, how swings. Is she the mood swings no, are that. Of, of massive import. She was just talking normally, and now it's crying. And then she'll go in from this to inc like not a single tear and pure rage. She mm -hmm. does th like there's no um, like sway to the switch. I guess is what what we're trying to say here. It goes directly from one end to the other. There's no like. I slowly go from like, you know, happy to sad. It's like, and she claims to have BPD, which is uh, not bipolar, uh, but, um, uh, oh, fucking, what is it? Uh, it's a personality disorder. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, borderline. Borderline. Thank you. So, but. Amber it, Heard. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, the only, she got a lot of borderlines and they're between her fucking like gut and her no. fucking waist. No. 
No, I'm talking about like you know, it, it was pointed out with the Amber Heard shit because you could see like she could turn it on and off real quick. That's what she does here. Yeah. yeah. But but I think that's a manipulation tactic. This is like a narcissism trait to, as far as I'm right. concerned. Mm. People get you fired. You understand how terrible that is. How hopeless you feel. All right, crying, crying, crying. How furious it is, and I'm told to be quiet about it. I'm told to be quiet that these people get me fired. Yep. Getting mad. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> Read in the chat. Read the chat the whole time. Is this what you want? Is that you have it? Yeah, you have A woman who's done everything in her fucking power to fucking feed her family. And I can't because you won't let me. We won't let her feed you. You're no, gonna be fired. She. The fucking music. They won't. Kills me. Dude, they dude, won't dude, let dude, her dude, feed dude. her family. I mean, like, food's getting in there somehow. I don't. Oh no no! Uh, it's been no, no, it's no. been uh, exposed by G Man in recent times that uh, she would gatekeep the food. Oh, that explains a lot. Her kids, when they were taken by CPS, were underweight. Rev is getting oh, skinnier Jesus and skinnier. Christ. Her boyfriend. She is the only one that is getting fatter and fatter, or somehow maintains weight. By the way, the weight she's at now, it's like six thousand calories plus a day to maintain that weight. So when when Rev begs for a pizza, you know fucking damn well he's getting maybe one slice. Uh. She she cons- all this woman knows how to do is consume. He Rev gets like antipsychotic medications and she eats them to get high. <laughs> Jesus Christ. She is a complete piece of shit in every fucking possible way. Stop saying get a job! I'm trying! <laughs> you guys are so fucking cruel! You're She's so breaking cruel. first rule of the internet is you don't, you don't let love the me. internet know what gets to you. Dude, she, yeah. that that is maybe a, a lesson she should have been taught a long time ago. This, this is how you achieve infamy not like you know being famous like this is this is a totally different ball game from what she's trying to achieve see the thing that really upsets me and really bothers me is when people subscribe to my patreon and my youtube channel and i just i just freak out and i get really upset and i cry that's why i don't do it mad. that's why i refuse to do it <laughs> That's I know it triggers you. So everybody, please, instead of triggering dark matter, please uh, subscribe to the goddamn podcast. And what, whatever and instead, you do, don't do the usual internet thing and try to trigger me by yeah. subscribing to my channel instead. Sure. Look, everybody. Look, <sighs> yeah. How many times on Dark Matter's channel has he done the Sagan? Yeah, point proven. Point fucking proven. You know, I don't need to say another goddamn thing. The Sagan is a winner, and you refuse to do it unless it's right here on the podcast. So I've done it on my channel before. But nobody watched that. There, there, there's people that watched it. Although so he you only may have, have gotten as many views on that video as we have in the entirety of our podcast. But that doesn't mean shit. <laughs> okay. You don't love. You don't take care of your fellow man. All you do is make fun of them and tear them down. That's what you do to your fellow man. You don't try to help Pure them out, even though they've helped you out. You tell them they're scum of the earth. This is the best fucking part. This is what we. This has all been building up to. Is this last like forty seconds here? You say this get a shantygasm. job, dude. This is the shantygasm. The, because yeah. the you remember the irony and the hypocrisy has been like pretty bad. Well, it's about to like mm-hmm. hit peak. They're both of y'all just calling that. You don't help. <laughs> you don't say I, I feel sorry for you. You don't say I pray for you. You don't say you can do this. All you do is you say uh, you're destructive and I'm not. I'm doing everything in my power. To- wow. She literally. <laughs> 
She she says, you're saying I'm destructive and I'm not. And I'm doing everything in my power to. And I'm guessing she's saying feed her kids. But she, after being saying she's not destructive, hits her laptop so hard it stops the stream. Sorry for you. You don't say I pray for you. You don't say you can do this. All you do is you say uh, you're destructive and I'm not. I'm doing everything in my power to. <laughs> god damn i fucking love that shit oh my god that is she was so fucking good everything too oh, you, oh you, my god you're that? saying i'm destructive and i'm not so this is the uh mr j and harley this is super this is no rage just pure cringe Oh no! These people put this online and wonder why they aren't taken seriously. This this is how you get Batman to retire, dude. I thought it was Batman, not Fat Woman. Hey yo! Today is a very interesting day, Gotham. The bat died, and nobody cried. The bat died and nobody cried. <laughs> oh, Mr. J. I decided to put on my pretty look today just for Mr. J. We have a. Whoa, look at that arm. Look at that <gasps> fucking <Dude>. arm. <laughs> dude. Dude. <laughs> what the hell? Dude. Her arm's bigger than mine. Yeah, her arm's bigger than our thighs, bro. I'm I'm a big guy, and my thigh don't look nothing like that. Mm. What? Why? Why? Why are you doing that? Why? Why are you doing that? Oh, I'm gonna do what you want me to speed this one up or leave it normal speed. That's you your job. Have to get what you have to continue playing and hopefully. Are you keep, uh, you keep yeah, cutting no, out, sir? Yeah, Special roboting. Day. You're roboting. Un undo whatever dark matter update you did. <laughs> Dark Matter, your shit has been on point ever since. Okay, so I turned you, noise you... cancellation all the way up. Okay, well. It was on automatic, and I think that's what the problem was, is it kept on <laughs> changing. If if that doesn't work, if, you, if they can't cancel your noise quite enough, just mute yourself. Forever. Got it. Forever. Got it. Today, it's gonna be a fun night, Harley. Don't you think? What <laughs> the fuck is that? It's... He's like super. It that's not Joker. Isn't like a fucking angry psychopath. He he's angry because of like the way shit is. He's not just like gritting his teeth constantly. You dipshit. What? Why? Why would they? Again, the question is, why would you put this online? If if the point was not to get people to hate you. I love you, Mr. J. I love you, baby. Oh, Mr. J. My Harley. Mr. J. But this is that a fucking oh. is that a bug light? Please don't tell me this is about to go, turn into a porn. No, that's I save that for the end. Uh, fuck. Oh, yeah. You don't know how many folds are involved with this story, sir. There's a lot. Is that a bug light is my question. Is this is this a bug light? Uh, I can't tell it's blurry. Do they have so many like like flies and gnats and, and sh like shit flying around that they need a fucking bug light. Business calls. I don't know. Business calls. <laughs> the bat jumped off a building or he had an accident. 
and no one cried. Why do you think that is, Gotham? <coughs> Why do you think? Why do you think? Why do you think that Batman fell off a building and nobody cared? Hmm. Did you cry? I only cry for you, Mr. J. Did you cry? I don't know if I can make it through this one. This makes me like, like my palms are sweating. This <laughs> this makes me so embarrassed. Oh my fucking god! For the bat? No. She didn't cry for the bat. I was laughing the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> laughing the whole time. She bought these costumes. They did the makeup. With food money. With rent money. They thought... I'll, I'll explain one other detail to you, Dark Matter. They thought they were going to be YouTube famous. Even when they were infamous, they called themselves F-less celebrities. These people don't understand when uh, when they're they're that they're the opposite of appreciated online. They don't get it. This shit blows my mind. I the idea of putting uh, like because my old lady does freaking like special effects makeup. And like gore effects and like you know horror movie stuff, we could make some pretty like remember the bald cap that I did a long time ago, that looked super yep. realistic. She did that. that. What are you guys doing this year, by the way? Oh, I'm not gonna spoil it for you, bitch. You're gonna fucking be joining me. <laughs> You're gonna be join joining me. I I'll tell you what. What you should do is put on a fucking really realistic looking like hair piece. And I'll do the bald thing, and we'll do the, like the reverse. I'm okay with that. I, teaser. I have. I'll probably have to do stuff with the kid. I do have a life. Nobody believes that. Okay, so like I was <laughs> saying, uh, no, seriously, like whatever. I, it doesn't have to be on Halloween. We could just do a Halloween thing before Halloween. It's, that's totally fine. I'm, I, but this, my my thing is, all right, dark matter. Uh, you know what? I came up with our. I want you to be a fat Harley Quinn, while I'm a uh, drug-addled Joker. Can we do that? And if I ever want to run for office one day, I they they might not just. <laughs> If you do this, they might just not let you into, like, a regular office. <laughs> Much less a political office. Look at or what you're... Look your at, own office. Yeah, look at what's on screen right now. Look at, look, look at this. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Which one of these looks more like a fucking, like, depraved maniac? Is it... I mean, they're both shitty people, but, like... This was supposed to be attractive. To who? This. It, somebody, Harley Quinn is supposed <laughs> to be like hot crazy. Not fat yeah, crazy. About, like seven times lighter. TJ, yeah. why don't you believe she's hot? Oh. Well. Dark matter. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I just can't get enough of these rolls. Oh. Oh, uh, teach. Well, you keep flattering me. I do uh, declare. Uh, my, I'm, uh, my feet are sweating right now. This is <laughs> so... Like, I'm cringing every fucking area. Please stop this. I know it's funny, but... I only, I can only handle so much. Dude, this is like poop hoarder level. Like, ah. So as you can see, we're in our best. I didn't... Well... 
my beautiful Harley did my makeup. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I have a smile on today. So does she. She looks perfect. There you go, perfect. Teach. That should be... <laughs> I want that to be your new desktop See? wallpaper. It's just that... That, that right there? there? On loop. On loop, yeah. What if... That that is absolutely fucking horrendous. She she not only has the fucking butt chin, but then like the fat ass double chin underneath. Do you see it? Do do you, I can see it? I it's right there. Here, dark matter. Here, let me do you a favor. Oh, it's okay. I. It's so okay. so if you look on the edge of dark matter's image here. All right, there's the eyes, there's the nose, here's the fucking mouth. But here's the one, two. One, two. And then three. I, I feel like I have to change my avatar now. Like, fat he chance, has, bro. Fat he chance. He's been violated again. Yeah. yeah. You've been violated quite a few times. Oh, Mr. J. She looks perfect. Perfect. <laughs> what a day for Gotham when the Batman flittered his way off a building <laughs> and died. Look at that. Look at that fucking harm. It's like a cankle, but with your arm. It's where your hand turns into your arm. Dark matter. How how many days would you have to work out in a row to get guns like that? I, I, that's that's a lifelong commitment, TJ. Yeah, I was gonna say negative twenty two because I hit that twenty two days ago, bitch. I, I'm just kidding. If my arms ever looked like that, I'd be terrified. I think I had a disease. One of those guys that uh, does the like those injections. Oh yeah, yeah with the oil, the, yeah. The, the the fucking cooking oil, or better yet, it's fucking. You got like McNuggetitis. What was the name for? Wasn't it? Yeah, McNuggetitis. <laughs> no, like the stuff that they're <laughs> injecting. <laughs> I was talking with a couple guys from work about it early this week. I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> Grant's going to get jacked. Rather... Grant's like, what do you need, guys? Meth? And they're like, no, we want to look like we're fake pumped up. He's like, hey, hold look, on, I'll look up I, the name of it. I will not go down the path of being in the business of anything that you inject. Um... Wait, so, stop I, it! I, no, 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 no. <laughs> I was, I was actually going to be cool about this. Uh, when I moved, I moved overseas to an army base, and uh, when I went to my doctor's appointment, they, the nurse there was like, "You have the option of taking your own blood." I was like thirteen at the time, or whatever, and they let me like take my own blood. Huh. Yeah, it, I, I've never, I've never experienced anything even close to that ever, like before or after. Uh, it was kind of mind blowing. But like, uh, in order to move to this army base, you had to prove that you weren't carrying any kind of like. Uh, it was overseas on like an island, so if you brought a disease there, it could be bad. Uh, so you had to yeah. go through like an extreme physical or whatever. But yeah, when they they were like, we can take your blood or you can take your own. And I was 13. I was like, I'll take my own. And essentially, they fucking set it up for you, and you just fucking, like, uh, pull the plunger. Yeah. Does that make sense? It's not like I did the whole thing myself. I'm just saying, like, maybe maybe they did it just because I was the 13-year-old. They were trying to make it interesting for me, for all I fucking know. But uh, it was it definitely stuck out in my mind forever as, like, Wow. The only time I've injected myself was to take my own blood. I'm such a badass 13 year old boy. Okay. I think me. Hey. 
There's nothing. That's quite a tangent that you allowed Grant. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I blame that. I do oh, blame that on Grant. And and while <laughs> while it might have been like a weird story, I can make everyone forget about it by playing ten more seconds of this. Maybe. Yeah, that's true. Just maybe. Not even Alfred. Yes, I know who your butler is. I don't believe in even he cried. Did you see your parents, Bruce? Did you meet them? The irony is that at this point, Shani's parents have disowned her, and they never even let her come to their funeral. <laughs> the irony is so fucking thick here, man. If you knew the whole you know, story... I... I have to give credit where credit is due. At least he's actually giving it a shot. To he's try trying. To... He's trying. Yeah. He's not trying to be a fucking 490 pound Harley Quinn. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, he... out, Mr. J, can you buy me another 10 tacos? Like, yeah, fucking Jesus Christ. At least he's giving it a shot. And I believe at to, this point he was wet brained. To be fair, a Harley can be pretty heavy. Dude, yeah. She's the worst. <laughs> That's yeah, the kind know, of they're... Harley she should have gone for. <laughs> Yeah, you know, this is you know, a soft you know what they tail Harley. For, well, you know, they make the fat boys, right? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you don't understand irony. You think you're being funny. But the thing is that these motherfuckers actually ask for somebody, somebody to donate to them a fat bastard sandwich. Which is like a uh, Philly cheesesteak with like mozzarella sticks and onion rings and all kinds of shit on it. They've actually mm. asked people to buy them a fat bastard. Who for? <laughs> Who for, you ask? A fat bastard. Not Rev, the other bastard. All right. I hope you did. <laughs> Tell the bitch hello. <laughs> Your parents were disgusting. That's why I shoved a gun in their face and burned them. <laughs> That's why I killed them. They were useless. She's ruining the whole fucking, fucking thing. Yeah, it's not the Joker he, didn't kill the Batman's e parents, you fucking moron. No, 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 no. He's actually giving the effort while she's back there coughing in the fucking background. Yeah, dude. That's why you don't make money, bitch. Rich people. Disgusting. I'll take your money and burn it. The irony here is that she actually took his money and burned it in real life. Right. Yeah, seven hundred over seven hundred thousand dollars in fucking uh, that he inherited from his mother. She got a hold, and he was uh, self sufficient. He was surviving on his own, uh, using the um, dividends from those. Uh, it was in the stock market, and mm -hmm. he was paying his bills and everything uh, without going into debt at all. The moment she showed up. His decision making went in the toilet and they went fucking broke within like a year and a half. 700 grand to broke in a year and a half. Holy shit. Oh, don't worry. We've got one of those that'll cover that saga in in, in argument style. Uh, but I want to finish this real quick. Because you're dead. Bruce Wayne's dead. The bat's dead. The bat's dead. Woo hoo hoo hoo. And Gotham is now mine to do with. It's ours. Look at that arm. Okay, wait. Let me. Okay, I'm sorry. You guys can't see what I'm what I'm looking at. Let me. How do I? How do oh, I get Jesus that Christ, fucking Jesus? What the fuck, bro. All right. Dude, it's bigger. It's bigger than his head. All right. This is this is me not working out for a while, and I feel flabby. And then I look at that, and I'm like, you know what? It's like a I'm, I'm chihuahua okay. hanging out with a Saint Bernard. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Oh, good God! Oh. And that is a first world problem. Went from Harley <laughs> Quinn to Hardly Thin. 
Yeah, I what that that was a good one. You, you deep side no, that you had, because no, you liked it. You no, you planned that one. I did not. I just came up. You with You did not on, come up with that. I one. did. No, you I did. That look, one. look. When I plan it, I'll admit it. But I just came up with that off the top of my head. They they occasionally they happen. Occasionally, oh. I'm not perfect, but sometimes I'm I not. Hit I can't give you that credit. I'm sorry. It's I, okay. I you don't have to. I know. I know the truth. Like Shani knows the truth. <laughs> Okay, I know the truth. Okay, I can't watch any more of this. I'm cringing. I'm I, I'm cringing so fucking hard. Um, all right, let's do um, let's do this one. That's a great look. I know. It, right now, you're thinking like everyone must be one to fuck this woman. <laughs> That's what Rev thinks that she's hot as fuck. And Shani is convinced that every woman is trying to fuck Rev. I I, I should almost play a Rev video. Well, like, any other woman would be better than her. Anyway, all right. Yeah, well, yeah, this is true. The man deserves a little bit more than that. Yeah. I'm going to start playing this <laughs> and I'm going to pee real quick, and then uh, and then we're going to uh, we're going to cover some insanity. I find it really fucking weird how people can speak collectively for each other. They're always like, well, we feel this, and we feel this, and I'm like, you sound like a goddamn cult member. I don't give a fuck what we fucking think and we fucking feel. Because I'm not a we person. I'm an I person. I'm an individual person it's about the size of three people i believe in it's too bad tj wasn't here when I she said she isn't a wee person oneself. and when i see the term and when i see people say we feel and we think i'm like who the fuck are you to tell people how they think and feel first of all and who is this we that you're speaking of just because you feel a certain matter doesn't mean all other people feel the same fucking way dude you sound like a fucking cult member when you come to me with these fucking we statements and it's fucking creepy as hell because you're talking about my own personal life while doing these we statements like you have some kind of fucking control over a motherfucker's life. All right, so I, I'm going to go back. Five, no. Five. no! No, no, <laughs> I, I am. I am. I, wanna, I want you to hear what I'm talking about when I say that weird thing where she keeps talking even though she's, yeah, out, she's of out of air. breath. Yeah. That shit. It, this is what drives me more nuts about her than anything. She ke- she will, refuses to take the breath to finish the sentence and instu- instead chooses to finish the sentence on whatever little breath is left on her voice. <laughs> but she does it with like this, her huge growly double chin voice. And it's nuts. Let me see if I can. I'm like a fucking cult member when you come to me with these fucking we statements and it's fucking creepy as hell. Right there. Right there. Yeah. Creepy as hell. Like it's the last bit of air in her lungs that she's trying to finish her sentence with because I guess her brain power isn't strong enough to hold on to the thought if she can't hold on to the breath. Her lungs are naturally under a lot of pressure. Uh, now, mind you, they're, they're, for her, they're they're lunds, lunds. All right, lunds, lunds. She, she does not pronounce G's her G's. Then. She does oh. not pronounce her G's. So if you're um, something is not happening, it's happening. All right, and if she doesn't right. need to clean her bong. She needs to clean her bon. Uh, something something hasn't been going on for a long time. It's been going on for a long time. <laughs> All right. I, I shit you not. Wait for it. Because you're talking about my own personal life while doing these we statements like you have some kind of fucking control over a motherfucker's life. Fuck your we. Fuck your collective brainwash cult fucking thinking. Your mob mentality thinking. Fuck that shit. 
Her Thank voice you. got lower than all three of our voices combined. Yeah. Com- com- I don't know about you, guy. My voice is very low. <clears throat> uh... I'm an individual. I believe in individuality. I believe in thinking for oneself. And when you come to me and you give me, we think this, we think that, I'm automatically going to assume you're my, my, my motherfucking enemy. Because if you were my fucking friend, you would know how much I value thinking for oneself and individuality. You would think if you were my friend, you would know that. But I never saw your name before. I don't know who the fuck you are. And you're using we statements to me like it somehow has to apply to my fucking life. And I'm supposed to fucking deal with that shit. Does does she not understand that Christians are supposed to all believe the same thing? No, she doesn't. As a collective. As As a collective. She... That's this thing. She does not, not only does she not understand that, the, th- the problem is she wants to be a free thinker and also convince people to believe exactly as she does. She literally had a YouTube channel called Cult of Shanny. <laughs> okay. As a play off of... Uh... She still tries to run a cult. The, uh, the thing is, the only member of it is Rev. Rev is the only one who has joined the cult of fucking this dumb, fat, warded bitch. Who who has done nothing. And the, honestly, I could not be happier that Rev and Shanny found each other. Because she refuses to do anything. And it drives him crazy. And he refuses to do anything. And it drives her crazy. That's it. That's the end of the story. That's why I love them. Because they drive each other fucking crazy. Because they're That's both lazy. Couple. Like, each one is trying to out-lazy the other. She's like, you're a shit provider. You know what I mean? To him. And he's like, I had $700,000 and you blew through it. And I've, I don't work. He refuses to work. Why? Oh, uh, his excuse is he's like... He can't do it mentally, man. Like mentally, man. Can you imagine work, bro? It's like, like it's hard, right? And stuff, and like you gotta go there and do things and stuff. And it's like, and they don't pay you that much money, really, man. It's like, dude, work, bro. I don't, no way. But and and at the same time of being like that, will say. Joe Biden is a piece of shit. I'm going to vote for Trump if he runs again. I shit you not. These people that hate socialism are so fucking ready for that handout. Refuse to work. Love Trump. Love Alex Jones and shit like that. Absolutely. But again... Shanny is more like um, pliable. I, I know that's like a, it seems like a cruel word to use. Uh, she's more malleable towards different ideas if she thinks she can use them to her advantage. Whereas Rev is just a fucking like easily led moron. So she is trying to do whatever she has to do to get herself ahead a little bit. Whereas he's just a dipshit that will follow her until like. A fucking volcano. These people are... This this video... There's a reason I chose this one. Actually, let me speed it up so we don't waste too much time on it. Bam. Uh, there's a reason we when we get to it, I'll slow it back down. Because you're not going to want to miss a bit of this. Like, just because it's we, I have to do what you fucking have to tell me to do? Fuck you. Fuck you. And I know there's a lot of people out there that's been getting these, well, we think this. I don't give a fuck what we think. I don't give a fuck what mob mentality. There's nothing, there's nothing we about Shanny, eh? <laughs> oi, oi. Uh, it's more like we. Yeah. She's a bit more way than she is we, don't you know? <laughs> brainwashed cult members have to fucking think frankly 
Why do you think I'm not in Christianity anymore? Why do you think I quit that fucking dumb fucking religion? So, so uh, what is she in now? Point, point, uh, at this point, <laughs> Christians weren't giving them enough money. So they left Christianity, and she became her own uh, Jesus talking head. Oh, so she's making up another denomination. Yeah, they've also in the past... um, Like a cult leader would. Like a cult leader, that's correct. (laughs) Uh, They've also in the past become like witches and Satanists and shit. They don't... The the, the whole point is they don't have any real... uh, like scruples or morality or like actual thoughts that go through the, everything they do is reactionary. Is my it just seems like a shotgun approach. Like they're just trying to see what sticks and no yeah, but conviction. they've been doing it for, for look. I, um, so I don't do the shotgun. I kind of do the shotgun approach in that. Like I try and cover multiple topics. Like we covered a fucking fake cop uh, like a month ago. Right. Like, I, like I'll cover whatever. Um, but these people think that they're going to find the one that sticks. That's the difference. I do this because that's what I wanted to talk about. I didn't think like this is the topic that's going to boom, like the podcast is going to be doing great and I'll make a living off it after I hit this one topic. Like never once have I fucking thought that I would be able to quit my fucking job and do this full time. Never. Never at the height of my YouTube fucking popularity of my Coxbus Prime channel, I never thought like I'm doing this full time. Never once. You know why? Every single person I watched that tried to do it like as a gig full time, other than Dark Matter, honestly, has fucking failed. And Dark Matter only succeeds because he fucking like pours his life into them shit like his videos and he did a good job from the beginning and has continued but even you dark matter like it's not up to you whether youtube decides to fucking take you out of the algorithm and then that you'll be fucked yeah and that that to me has always been too terrifying because that that, it happened to me youtube uh, google when google took over youtube my YouTube videos immediately saw one third of the views that they did previously. Immediately. And that was like, I wasn't like, oh man, I need, more, I need more views. Thank you. Thank you for the timer. I need more views. I didn't say I need more views. I said, oh, they can fuck me really hard if they want. And I don't want to put up with that shit. All right. Yeah, I saw that drop too. But, you know, the the thing is, what what how I reconciled it was uh, I could lose a regular job too, like I could get laid off, and it would be the same thing. So I I did the same kind of ideology when I started going through that, like when the when the viewership dropped off. But for yeah. for us, the viewership dropping off is like the pay dropping off. It's like working yeah. the same number of hours and getting paid less. So yeah. how how far would you let your pay drop before you said? I'm not going to, I'll just leave. Like if I was working a job getting paid, let's say uh, 15 bucks an hour, randomly, uh, 15 bucks an hour. And then I was working the same job and they lowered my pay to 12. I was like, oh fuck, that hurts. And then I did it, you know, I stuck with it. And ne- later on it was nine. And I'm like, okay, how, what it was, what's it going to be next? You're going to put me down to minimum wage and expect me to put out the same fucking content, the same fucking effort? Of course. And while I said earlier, and it was absolutely true what I said, like like the bigger your audience, the more kind of worried you are about the content you put out. When you Mm -hmm. build an audience and then YouTube removes it for you, that makes you like double second guess yourself. Because now it's like, look, I put out what I thought was really good content, and now it did nothing. Dark Matter, I know you experienced this. You put in the extra effort, and YouTube rewards you with nothing extra. In fact, maybe less than you would have gotten over the average. Like, what, what, what is the incentive for me to fucking keep trying harder and harder and harder and putting, sinking more and more time into this? That's why I love this podcast, because this podcast is not about 
Like, I love you guys. I, I appreciate our viewership very much. But it's never been about the views. Like, I'm never going to, like, quit the podcast because I got less viewers than I did years ago or whatever. Like, that's... You, you guys are... If you think that's the case, you're missing the point. I'm not here for popularity. Never was. Never was here for a fucking career. So, like... I don't. I, the statement I made on the regular show for 400 was that as long as we have more people viewing than actually in the call, I'll probably keep doing this shit. Because I don't care. This is not... Dark Matter doesn't show up here to make money. No, Like, nobody shows up here to make money. We do it for our own pleasure, and hopefully you guys get some entertainment out of it as well. By the way, I see Peachy Keen in the fucking chat. Uh, and I have not seen you in a while. It's great to see you. I hope you're doing fantastic. Uh, and I, I love our long time, time supporters. Don't get me wrong. I got more more respect for our people that have been supporting us through the thick and thin, uh, like and and doing it like that. That means a ton to me. But again, like this is not. If this was my career, I would be failing hard, like Shanny, or Rev. All right. Uh, That's when you need to get mad. Oh, you yeah. Need to start berating the audience. Why can't you think for yourself and give me more money? Why don't you just get fat and then go from there? I'm working on it, bro. <laughs> Why do you think I quit it? It wasn't Jesus. I love Jesus with all my heart and soul, mind, and body. I love Jesus. All of it? But Christianity, that fucking religion. Yeah, I agree. All it is is that we statement too, that cult like me. By the way, if you didn't hear that in the background, that was him. That's Rev, who is her constant hype man. No matter what she says, he's like, "Yep, that's right. Uh huh, I agree." Embody. Mm -hmm. I love Jesus, but Christianity, that fucking religion. Yeah, I agree. All it is is that we statement too, that cult like mentality. You gotta be like this. You gotta be like this. And if you're not, we're gonna shun you from society. Yeah. Fuck you for that. I agree. I was saved ten fucking years ago. Ten years ago, I was saved by wow. Jesus Christ, not by Christians, but by Jesus Christ. I was saved ten years ago, Shan. That's ten years ago, Shan. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Like, dude. Fucking pathetic. That's like the that's most awkward fucking hype man ever. And yeah, well, it's the, <laughs> honestly, it's the most awkward person you're trying to hype up as well. So, I mean. Well, I mean, it all is just repetition. Dude, all right, all right. Let <laughs> me hear your best uh, audition tape for a Shanny hype man. Go ahead. I got to hear her say something first so I can repeat it. All right. And the whole time I was saved, bringing up my faith, Definitely talking about love, talk <laughs> talking about grace, talking about forgiveness, the whole time, because I actually know what the faith is actually about. Not a whole... That, that's again. that again. Again yeah. with the fucking talking with no air in your lungs shit. Listen to how she keeps talking when there's no air in her lungs. And the whole time I was saved, bringing up my faith, talking about love, talking about grace, talking about forgiveness, the whole time, because I actually know what the faith is actually about. Not a whole oh. set of rule books. I hate it. I hate it so much. I don't she know just why had too that much to say me. under one breath. Dude, no, but I have. You don't hear me doing that, and I talk more than anybody. I talk probably more no, than Shanny. Well, you no, I meant like you know when to take the breath. You know, you're not just trying to get it all out at once. Grant, I appreciate what you're trying to say, but I don't think it's like really. <laughs> like, no, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to find the fucking reason. No, you're 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 right on. That's not what the Bible should have been about. It's not a rule book. It's a book to show you how to love others as yourself and to love God and to know how to treat people with kindness and respect. That sounds like a fucking rule book. It's no, not, except it's for not a book of, of rules. It's a book of to ways death, to do but... things. <laughs> what the fuck kind of... Are you an idiot? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. She's stupid and fat and, and like ugly on the inside and out. And she's just a terrible fucking person. The more we'll watch, the more you'll learn. You'll learn, Dark Matter. Also, anybody who says the Bible teaches people how to 
treat others with kindness and respect. Never read Romans 1. Hold on, I'm modding this fucking, this Tinder hot again. I don't know, what gave you that idea to do that? It's... <laughs> It doesn't change anything. It's the same as muting them. They come in and they drop three comments and they're gone. It's a bot. So you can mod them as many times as you want. They'll never come back again. You, you tr trust me. When when the when the Tinder dot hot or slash hot dot X Y Z starts like making major changes on the channel, I'll let you know. Until then, it's just a bot, bro. That's what it's the Bible so should have been about. But it was twisted, turned into this rule book of, you can't do this, you can't do that, you're going to go to hell, you're going to do this. The only people that went to hell in the Bible are those who did not love others. God spit them right out of their fucking mouth, his mouth, just like, screw you, motherfucker. <laughs> so. <laughs> the, the, the fact that she's like, God spits you right out of his mouth, and then Rev is like, Ugh, uh, uh. Like, immediately after, I fucking love it. Don't. Yeah, who made that a rule book? Don't come to me with this, these wee sticks. Oh, that's the other fun thing. He tries to be the hype man, but she ignores him. Mm -hmm. So he's like, oh, yeah, tell us more, Shanny. And she just, like, completely ignores him. He doesn't exist to her. And it happens consistently. Every time, if he wants to, like, say something... She's she shuts him up. It's hilarious. Statements. Don't come to me with this cult like thinking to me and tell me I'm supposed to do what you tell me to do. I'm supposed to be the way you want me to do. I am going through a lot right now. OK, I'm going through a lot in my life and I don't need people coming to me with their we statements telling me what their whole collective thinks I should do. Fuck your call. I do them teeth. Them teeth. Did I, I? I pulled up the the image earlier, right? I pulled up the image earlier of her of her teeth. Uh, well, here, you know what? Why is it? No, hold on. I got it. I got it right here. Hold on. Oh, no images to show. Why are you? Why are you fucking with me? This was my original thumbnail. I don't, they're frozen. Hold on. It'll take a yeah. second. Oh. It'll take a second. Hold on. Hold on. I got you. Mm. Ah. You know, that, that still shut right now of her, of her teeth reminds me of like, you know, like an old cartoon where like the villain gets hit in the mouth and their their teeth fall out like piano keys. <laughs> oh, oh, you you poor son of a bitch! You think that that's uh, hold on? You think that that's it? I got you right here, bitch. Why did it did it come Man, up? See if I make a joke again. Fuck. No, that was it. It was on point. It was on point. I was trying to trying to add to it. I get I get dark matter with a chuckle. It's like yeah, all right, cool. And TJ's like, no, nah, I got you, bitch. I, you know, I got you. I got you. Uh, why? 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 That's the one I want. It's not. You know what? I'll just show it here. Like you just did a lip smacking this. thing. No, we'll just do this. Every fucking teenager. Oh, what God damn hell? it! What in the fuck? That is her fucking teeth. That is her teeth. What? Yeah. What? 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 <laughs> That's like a fucking horror movie all day long. Oh, uh, lawn. I'm sorry. All day long. Hey, your, uh, your Tinder Hut dot XYZ mod just came back. Yay! They're modded. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Dude, do your worst. Do your worst, bitch. <laughs> it's no different than all the other times. It's no different. Still, nobody's going. Like, what, what? how do you even check out the site? You can't click on it in the chat. Anybody, I, I, I'll challenge anybody. Go, go click on their site. 
You can't do it. You can't click on their site. What is the fucking point? What is the point of fucking making these fucking posts if you can't click on it? Anybody, try and click on it. There's nothing you can click on. Do it. Okay. So, uh, if you want to go to Tinder slash hot dot XYZ dash broken heart best adult dating site like that that's how you do it if you want to get there i guess fucking so stupid thanks youtube you're doing such a great job their we statements telling me what their whole collective thinks i should do fuck your call i'm not part of your fucking calls by the way uh there's a reason i'm playing this and it's about to get really good I am not part of your fucking cult. I do not have to adhere to your fucking cult. Hi, Michelle. Do you know that's a form of manipulation by doing that? Because what you're doing by saying we think you should do this is you think that is you're putting someone into an isolated position where they feel like there's no choice but to follow other people in order to feel like they should be accepted. Fuck you. I don't need to feel accepted into anything. I don't. I don't want to be accepted into any fucking, like, we call fucking shit. I don't. I... So, at this point, you're thinking, you're almost like, you can almost agree with her, right? Collective, like, thinking is a bad idea. Right? Sure. Mm -hmm. Think for myself. I th you know what's it's, funny it's about people who talk about... <laughs> Thinking for themselves. Ah, <laughs> the freeze frame. <laughs> to be fair, you could freeze frame her on pretty much anything. Pretty while she's much, talking. but I mean, this one is fucking fantastic. Come on, Jesus fucking Christ! Go, 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 please, dark matter, continue. I I just mentioned this in a tweet. Is like, there's these people that think that you're not thinking for yourself until you agree with them. I just, I just find that so ironic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Free thinking yeah. means you think like I do. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The people are stupid. <clears throat> they, don't, they don't understand, like, f like, the idea behind free thought and that it came um, not because of religion but in spite of it. Mm-hmm. They don't get that. All these – like, that, and that's – <sighs> Uh, in Grant's honor, I'll make this 20 seconds. Uh, you cannot pretend to believe in something, uh, and not actually like do anything about it for only so long. You, you can't forever pretend to really believe it and not act like you do. Even to people who are dumb enough to believe you in the first place, it'll wear off. Watch, when you use, we think you should do this, we think you should do this, that's called, like, thinking. You can't think for... Look at those warts, bro. Look, look, all right, we got one big in here. There's a 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 big in here. Like, holy... Say, she's got a... Fuck. She's... She had the compass on her fucking face. Yeah. <laughs> what were you thinking? But think about what she's saying. Like, if poor if dark you use we statements, dark we matter. think you should stop thinking about what she's saying and make fun of the way she looks, like the rest of us. <laughs> no, think of the absurdity. We think you should do this. We think you should do that. Is cult like thinking? So if. If more than one person agree in a course of action, you're in a cult now. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. This is about to get to the point where we want to uh, cover it. For yourself? You can't come to me I've with... I've been wanting well, to cover I this for a long time. And I mean literally, like, cover my screen. <laughs> you, can't, you can't say I think. You say we think. Who's we? Give me specifics who we is. Me, Grant, and Dark Matter. <laughs> she, 
She thought she had us. Yeah. Like, that's who we is. Who's we? I allow Dark Matter and Grant to speak on my behalf about you anytime they want. Anytime. It doesn't, it doesn't, like, uh, you're, you're, it, it's like, oh, man. If only I could speak for myself about Shanny. You know, anyone that, that, like, isn't a complete fucking moron, I'll agree with them when they cover Shanny. Because she's so easily fucking, like, shut down. It's easy. And why should I give a fuck about we? And why should I listen to we? Do you think just because it's some fucking collective they have any more meaning and any more truth than I do? It's most likely if you're in a collective with mob mentality thinking, you're probably not thinking correctly, and you're probably getting the facts all skewed up like the game of telephone. That's why you label communication from person to person, not person to a collective fucking group who thinks they can fucking control you like a goddamn cult. She did it again, TJ. It drives me nuts. You know what? She's doing a couple other things that drives me nuts. When when did this whole thing where you have these like people that like grab it air when they talk? They grab it air and pull it back. What the fuck is that shit? And then, like, I personally like, look like if you'll listen to me for one second. <laughs> I yeah. personally feel your pain. They grabbing that shit, they pull yeah. it all over. And then the, and then they'll look at the, they'll look at the fucking camera or whatever, and they like forcefully blink a bunch of times, like forcefully. <laughs> and then have that, and then have that face like they constantly smell shit. That's in Shani's case. That's probably accurate. That's probably yeah. That's a hundred percent. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what it is. I don't give a fuck what it is. Can I please speak? He she, Rev tried to fucking have a peep in there. Did you hear it? Rev was like, "I agree, Shani," and she's like, "Can I please speak?" Is she acting what it like is. she didn't I, get a single word out? I don't give a fuck what it is. Churchy. Can I please speak? Like she's annoyed by him. Yeah. Yeah. Did you yeah, see her face crazy. before she talk, talked? Yeah. I'm not doing this. Like, okay, that's but it's okay. Oh, yeah. I want it. I want to see the face. The fuck what it is. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what it is. Sure. Can I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck what it is. I don't give a fuck what it is. Sure. Uh-huh. Hold on, hold on. Like it's the worst, man. Yeah, dude. yeah. Dude. The sound of his <laughs> voice. Son of a bitch, shut up. Can I please speak. Yeah, she hasn't had a chance to speak very much. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she hasn't been able to say I'm shit not doing in the last good. three minutes. Okay, but it's okay <laughs> to say you're not good. It's okay to say you're not good. It's okay to be going through a lot of fucking stress. A lot of fucking things are happening to me that you don't even fucking know. No, we all know. You know, I don't put all my <laughs> business out on blast. Yes, you do. She straight picked her nose on the fucking live. Look at shit. that face. But I, like, I'm. Rev is like, oh, what a fucking hottie. I'm willing to give up 700 grand in the rest of my life for that. For that, bro. For that, what? And at and at no point did he like just question his decision making. Oh no, he has, but only when he gets mad at her. Right, uh, it's the only time. And when he, when, the only time Rev makes sense is when he's pissed at her, because he'll speak us some truth. But that's about it. This really, tight. this is about to get really good. There's a reason I heard of these wee statements. I'm really tired of this collective fucking thinking thing because I don't I don't think people should think collectively like that. I don't think. By the way, she has said the same exact thing for uh, eight and a half, uh, nine minutes now. Damn. Mm -hmm. Nine minutes. She, she doesn't like collective talk. thinking for nine minutes. People should think like other people. I think people should think the way they want to think and how they should think and how their brain is wired for them to think. How about that? 
individuality, not some fucking collective cult shit. That's how I feel. Because I look at collective cult shit and I know they're not going the right path. The only reason she likes, doesn't <laughs> like uh, the collective cult shit, by the way, is because the collective all call her out. Yep. If, if the collective was on her side, she'd love them. I know, and whoever the fucking leaders are of that, they're out to fucking get my ass. Because they're trying to tell me what the fuck to do and try to run my fucking life. No, I'm not going to have fucking strangers on the internet dictate how my life should be, frankly. And that's not me being defensive, that's me being fucking real. And I say that to everyone else, do not let fucking people, strangers on the internet dictate how you think about others or think about a scenario or whatever. Think for your fucking self. Here comes the good part. Stop the collective, we think this and we think that. Do you have a thought of your own? I don't give a fuck what we thinks. I'm not we, I'm me. How many ways could she say the same fucking thing? Yeah, no, no, she's going to say it again. I'm not we, I am me. Repeat to yourself. I am not we, I am me. Now she's just literally... Imagine how miserable your fucking life is because you think you have to go and upheld to a fucking collective's thinking. Imagine how miserable your life is because you have to go upheld... That's Imagine gotta be some how miserable, miserable ass your life thinking. is. They're this living is some in a motel. Projection. These fuckers are broken living in a motel with no fucking food. That's my favorite part about all of this is how it came back to bite them in the ass. How they thought they were gonna be like internet famous and they are internet infamous. The difference is palpable. That's got to be some codependent fucking thinking. Certainly not independent thinking. It's certainly not thinking out of the box thinking. And frankly, I think people who follow people like that have a low intelligence. When people use we statements, low intelligence. They must have been going through the modern day education system. Because they think just because you think collectively you are right. But you can't be right about someone's life when you're not fucking in it and you don't know them and you don't know anything about them other than what is said on the internet. That's the mo- But you put everything out there. Not you only that, th- like she's, she's assuming <laughs> that if Hitler had a fucking Twitch channel, you couldn't call him out. <laughs> Hitler's Twitch channel would be... That Something to see. Yeah. My mind. Dot, starts... it's, it's mine. Dot comf. Just, just think of all the like the you know the the big table meetings when he flips the fuck out and shit yeah. loses yeah. his mind. It's got to oh. be the most hilarious shit ever. Give me another methamphetamine pill. Oh, stupidest fucking thing. Should I say that I know Kim Kardashian and I should tell her what the fuck she should do with her life because I see her every day on Instagram. Should I? Are you comparing yourself to Kim Kardashian? <laughs> Kim Kardashian is a fat ass. You have a fat everything. She has a fat ass. You are a fat ass. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. That's why I keep Grant around. That's that. That was it right there. This whole show is worth it for that one fucking comment. God damn it. Start barking orders at, at, at Kim Kardashian or, or, or Britney Spears or Madonna or all the other plethora. Are... <laughs> yes, TJ, she is. Yes, she did. She's still going. Of fucking celebrities that are on the internet, should I start barking orders and be like, well, we think you shouldn't be with Pete Davidson. Kim, we think you shouldn't, okay? We think you should do something different with your life. We. Th- What's up with the eyes? And she's telling you what people are telling her. People are trying to help her to fuck out. To stop doing this shit. To unplug. And she's turning it around of... It's all this collective thinking. <laughs> I'm gonna... 
blow this up a little bit. What are you doing? Fuck's sake. He's trying to hurt us, torture us. Dude, if that don't do it, if that don't do it, that's a boner killer for God knows how long. I think you should go and do and and, and and be lonely and isolated for the for your whole entire life. And we will tell you how to think, feel, and, and, and decide your decisions in your life. <laughs> why are you doing this what did i do what did i ever do to you tj i just don't want you to be able to maintain an erection for more, for i want you to maintain an erection for exactly as long in your life as you can before you so remember you can, this and then you're like yeah, you can ah. change you can change the uh the ads for uh for the fucking uh ed pills oh yeah for, for those ones, Bro, hey, like, if, you, look, if you're experiencing an erection lasting longer than four hours, like, look at this. Look, yeah, the new <laughs> Viagra work like gets you through your toughest times. Like, for example, this. Life, because we know better. We. Love it. Vomit. She doesn't inhale. Watch her hit this vape and not inhale. He points it out every time. Watch her not <laughs> inhale. It's not inhaling a Clinton or an Obama. I can't remember which. It, Clinton said he smoked weed, but he didn't inhale. Okay. No, it was Bush Obama said, said he, he smoked inhale. weed. No, no, no. It was Clinton said he it smoked, Clinton? but did not inhale. It was Clinton. Take my word. Uh. You have to take my word for it. I remember this part of history. Uh, Obama <laughs> Obama said he smoked, but like he didn't care for it. Um, the point being, one more time, puffing but not inhaling. Vomit. Nothing. Vomit. Because, see, the people who I value on the Internet, the people who I love on the Internet, they're individuals. They don't they don't think like everyone else. They're in an individual okay? they, situation. They don't feel the need to follow a crowd. This is about to get way worse. You know worse. what happens to people who follow them, follow crowds? Here it comes. I could tell you a story about what happened during World War II, but unfortunately, I can't say the motherfucker's name without getting a community guideline strike or something like What? Apparently, she thinks you... <laughs> by the way, awesome freeze frame. Um, <laughs> but she thinks that you can't say Adolf Hitler without getting a guideline strike. No, nah, she said something else. No, no, no. She, that's what she means. And you're about to... This is why I sh I pulled this up. All that fucking 13 minutes we just listened to for nothing. Because this is what it... I wanted the full context. This will blow your fucking minds. Are you ready? Yeah. You, you should have the f this face. That's the face you should have right face. now in anticipation. Like that. But there was a time where there was this huge group of people in the Germany area. And they decided to follow a dictator. Because they followed. Okay, I need to, I, I'm pausing this because I want you guys. So what side are you on right now that she's going with? Hitler was, when Hitler was in power, bad things happened, right? Mm -hmm. That's what you would think that she's going with. Are you ready? Uh -oh. That dude. People openly and willingly walked into ovens. Because they what? were going with the collective. They were walking <laughs> with everyone else. They just let that stuff happen. They just walked right into it. Because they followed. They followed. Wow. They weren't their own leaders, but they followed like little fucking shit. No, they didn't have guns pointed <laughs> in their fucking faces at all. You know, they, they just walked freely. 
She she thinks she thinks the fucking Nazis convinced people Jews to just walk oh, willingly into ovens because the Jews were willing to think for themselves. But she would have fought. Totally. She would have fought the to, well, Nazis. Well, I mean, honestly, Shani might have gotten some. Like, who knows how many rounds she could take before she fell down? There's plenty of padding. And I would Wait. love to watch her take all those rounds while she tried no, to escape would've... from a fucking concentration camp. No, they would have they would have killed her too for being fat. She wouldn't have made it just for being fat. The <laughs> other Jews would have killed her. <laughs> no, that's too much fat. There's nothing to eat. Good there. God, the <laughs> idea that she literally was like it's it's groupthink that caused the Jews to walk into ovens. Because they believed Hitler. <laughs> she might have heard that that bullshit saying, you know, if the Jews had guns, you wouldn't, have, you know, a lot of what conservatives say. You know, if the Jews had guns, the Nazi Party would have never been successful. Yeah, so yeah. She probably if, took that and ran away with it, and it sure, turned into this. Sure. And, and if and if fat fucking people that didn't work uh, had pizza, they'd still ah. be fat. You, who the fuck cares? God damn it. This this infuriates me because it's so fuck she's like uh, let me educate you about what happened in World War II. Okay? What happened was some guy came into power and next thing you know the Jews were just walking into ovens. Wait, and this was and you got and this was what? 2 minutes after she said something like collective bit is being a part of the uh yeah, the uh, the uh, public the, education system. Dude, dude like she bashed the public education system because she's never endured she, it. That's why. Right. <laughs> she endured wherever she got this from. I, I'll i tell you what. Anyone out there listening right now that, that feels like this kind of like um, coverage of the Shanty shit should get more like uh, viewership, feel free to share this shit. Because honestly, I think we do a better job covering the deep details of some of this shit than a lot of other channels. And a lot of other channels do a lot better off. And again, I'm not trying to make a living here. But I think like proper Shanty coverage is not just like playing their videos without anyone saying anything. That's just exposing them. I, I'm talking about like exposing them. Not just giving them exposure, but actually exposing them. So share this shit with a few other fucking channels uh, or people or whatever. Uh, I would love more people to get the, the full in-depth bit of this rather than the fucking, like, if, if some other channel covered this and they didn't say anything about it, it would infuriate me. He, he wants the emphasis put on expose. Expose. <laughs> Fucking he like, wants he wants to see Shanny exposed. <laughs> no, don't don't say it like that, you son of a bitch. And and and, and everybody at home, whoever you're going to share this with, remember this guy is happy that Shanny noticed him in the chat. Mm -hmm. Not happy, confused. No, you were fucking stoked because you could not wait to tell everybody about that shit. I could not wait to tell everybody that Shani knew, <laughs> like, remembered who I was. But at the same time, yeah. there. <sighs> <laughs> Speak I've got wait, 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 I, no, no. I, I need to, I need to put this in terms that everyone can understand. If if I was happy about Shani knowing who I was, then I wouldn't be as happy about dark matter. You understand? Like dark matter. Now you're is, just scaring me. No, no. I yeah, my point is that, is, is that my, no, no. My point is that dark matter is like someone I respect, and he shows up, and uh, I expose his bald ass all the fucking time. That's something that I'm like, that that's that's all in fun. This is like a scary level of incompetence and uh, terrible parenting and everything else, and so it's on a totally different level as far as. I, I just can't. Hmm. Dark matter has said some dumb shit. Shani has said some <laughs> dumb shit. Okay. 
I don't judge Dark Matter forever on his dumb shit because he usually does it in a joking and jovial way, whereas Shani is just a total piece of shit that is trying to manipulate people and is willing to give up her kids in order to do so. I know Dark Matter's not like that. That's why I love the guy. I love Dark Matter because he's freaking like, you know, he... I don't want to. I don't want to give you too much credit. He's I. Right, all right. I like Dark Matter because he's I. If it takes you right. that long to think of a, one thing, then no, no, no. I I had like seven things, and then I was like, wait, that's too much. I don't want to give yeah. this guy a big head. You, it's it looks bigger already because you're bald. But I don't want. I don't want you to think like you know. I, I respect you very much, Dark Matter. All right, Grant. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, was taking you so long. No, no, that was it. It was just that. Mm. <laughs> no, great. I also like. I wouldn't have you guys off, like on as often as I do, if if I didn't respect you guys. Shani is a total manipulative bitch that does not give a fuck about anybody if she can't make something off of it. She literally just said the Jews walked into ovens because of Hitler without giving a single other piece of fucking, uh, like, you know, detail. Let, let, here. Because they thought collectively. They just walked right into it because they followed. They followed. They weren't their own leaders. But they followed like little fucking sheep, little brainwashing. Oh no, we're burning! This then, woman you know, is on the, the internet calling Holocaust victims brainless sheep. Listen to what she says right here. Little brainwashing. Oh no, we're burning! And then you know that's the end of that. That's the end of that. Jesus Christ! Yeah, she made that story sound so simple. This is fucking Mary had a little lamb for the Holocaust. <laughs> this is a woman. This is a woman who was in tears about people saying stuff in the in her chat, and and now she's talking about the the people in the Holocaust. Like she's giving Holocaust victims like what they should have done. Well, yeah, dark matter. Because they just blindly, like, they listened to the flute, and they were like the rats, yeah, all right? And then they just walked into the ovens, and then, like, they dude. they were like Shanty, they'd be alive a yeah. lot yeah. more than they were. Well, they yeah. that's true, but mainly because of the layers of fat that it would have taken a burn through. <laughs> there would have been a horrible smell before dying. Dude, like bacon, I'm, I'm guessing? No. I wouldn't say that. I don't know. She's pretty piggish. Yeah, but a lot of the pigs that we get bacon from are a lot cleaner than that. That's true. I have never seen a wart on my fucking cut of ham. Can we <laughs> can we look at here? Here we go. Here we go. One, two, two. three. That's a kind of a wart. But I'll call common. it four yeah. and a half. Five and a half, and then there's the forehead one way up here. You see it. The Cyclops one. That's fucking six and a half that I'm willing to fucking, like, count. Six and a half warts on your fat fucking four-toothed face, and you're going to, like, lecture anybody on anything. Ever. Especially, Dude, have... like, to, to, do, to do it is one thing. To do it in the form of, the Jews were collective thinking, and that's what caused them to walk into the ovens because Hitler convinced them to. Well, just think. What? Her teeth Her teeth are the sign. If, if it involves more than four, it's collective. You know what? I'll agree with that. I'll take it. She got more warts than she has top teeth. <laughs> if you have more than four top teeth, you're a fucking collectivist. If you have more fucking more than <laughs> four fucking warts on your face, <laughs> you're collecting. You're, you're collectivist because you're collecting warts on your face. 
because they had the same mentality of collective thinking. Talking about the Jews here, not the Nazis. Yeah. Just so we're on the same page, not the Nazis had collective thinkings. The Jews who the Nazis killed, she is saying collectively. Collective, collectively. Look at that happy fucking stupid face. Ignorance is bliss. Ignorance mm -hmm. is fucking bliss. They thought, uh, uh, well, if people are doing this, then I should do it too. If they're going to this one area, we probably should follow them. Bah. Bah. <laughs> Shit. Dude. Wow. Jesus Christ. My po I, I Again, I'm sharing this stuff with you so that you can understand how terrible of a fucking person we are talking about. So when I say I don't mm. mind if you starve to death, understand that I mean it because this is the bitch we're talking about starving. Um, Anyone to be that gives fair, that, that money, would take a few years. Oh, no, she's got plenty of pounds. Yeah, she's... But any people are still donating to these fucks. They, they, what, what's kind of amazing is like every, every video you show me. Hold I on, think my, I've got no... a mod commenting right now. They said, "Lovey face, female uh, emoji, lips, heart, male emoji, check mark, thumbs up, lips, uh, love between couples, lips, lips." Uh, uh, in love emoji, lips, lips, uh, red lips, uh, male emoji, in love, lips, lips, woman, man, woman symbol, uh, two hearts, woman, man, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Oh, I'm convinced. I mean, like, look, at first I wasn't going to check out Tinder slash hot dot X, Y, Z, but now <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> What I was going to say was uh, with each video, I mistakenly think that that's that's it. There's no lower. And then the next video and then somehow they defy physics and go lower. So, yeah, everybody has said that uh, Shani and Rev will hit rock bottom and then like have to deal with the consequences of their actions. But they refuse to find the bottom. Every time that something happens, they like they had a bunch of money and a car and a nice apartment. Oh, they lost the apartment. Okay, cool. They moved somewhere else. Oh, they lost the car. Okay, well, they got another car maybe. Oh, they lost that place. Well, they're in a motel. Oh, they're hungry. Oh, yeah, well, they got a pizza. Like everybody is oh, like somehow, even the trolls, the people that hate them are willing to give them money to keep the fucking like entertainment going shit show going yeah well go going to the rock bottom thing usually when you when somebody talks about rock bottom it's somebody that has admitted that they've they've hit the bottom these people have not they won't admit to it because they don't think they have oh man i'm gonna have to i'm timing out my tinder bot God damn it, I didn't want to do it, but I will. The whole time you were being lead, led by a... F lead. The whole time you were being lead. <laughs> hey, you idiots. That whole time you were being lead by Shep. Yeah. All of you and that they were going the public education system. Yeah, no, no, it's public. Public. <laughs> public education system okay i went to public school i know how to spiel and <laughs> pronounce things fucking wolf and you didn't even know it that's what happens to people who follow my people though they don't fucking follow are your people the Nazis? White my people, people yeah. they have a mind of their own. My people will argue with me if they think I'm in the wrong. The wrong. 
Remember I said she can't pronounce G's? Your own. My people will argue with me if they think I'm in the wrong. But at the same time, they'll give me enough space happen? for me to think it out. It's, it's literally, people thought it was a speech impediment, but it turns out it's just laziness. You're so lazy, you won't even make the g sound. Yeah. You know, the video is not working right. I appreciate you telling me. Here's what I'm going to do. We're going to put this on, uh, on, always on top. And now we're good. And also, so you're saying you, we reason. want Shani on top? Always you, that's Shani what you top. asked for. You literally you asked you for You want Shani on top. It's the always on top for OBS. What do you want me to do, bitch? I, you, dark, I know you uh, always uh, want no, no, her no, no, on top dark, and dark, obese. I know. Dark Matter is the one who's not happy enough with seeing enough frames of Shani. D hey, uh, Grant, were you okay with not seeing current frames of said video? The answer is whose yes. Show, whose show idea was this? <laughs> it was mine. Mercy, if I do what they don't want me to do, they're fine with it because that's what friends actually do. Uh, it, it's, it, that's what friends actually do. I mean, I mean do. Sure. Um, here, I'm going to play this one real quick. We won't even interrupt it. Three minutes. It's Shani laughing as her son cries and begs for her to stop the stream where she's streaming his uh, voice, where he is trying to tell her something. Oh, uh, new low. This Good. is how shitty yeah. she is. A false alarm. He wasn't looking at the porno. His pants fell down and his brother saw his ass crack. What? Huh? Why would you put this online? She's like, false alarm. It wasn't them, my kids looking at porn. It was that one of their pants fell down. The other one said they all saw that an ass crack. Like, why would you announce this online? She looks like she could barely stay awake, too. And his brother's always trying to get him in trouble. So he narked at him and said that he mooned his brother. And I don't get why kids... Are always arguing with each other all the time. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. And I will never get it. She never argues. <laughs> oh, Yo. God. Yo. TJ. Hell? TJ. Oh, this is before all the rest of the teeth came out. Bro. Dude, you. You remember what was it? Friday the Thirteenth Part Two. That <laughs> when he took the when they took the bag off his head, and that's that was what his face looked like underneath. No, no, it was Part Three when he first got the hockey mask. That's because his teeth were all sharp and shit. <laughs> Bro, this. I'm talking about somebody that lived in a lake for fucking thirty years. What is this? There's nothing here. And there's nothing here. It's just the back teeth. Don't on the internet. Oh my god. That's <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> TJ, imagine French kissing her and getting your tongue stuck. Don't don't do that to me. <laughs> Taste buds can feel the roughness. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> and I don't understand why the kids are crazy right now. I do. Anyway, smoking weed. Motherhood is fantastic. My Not sons are Haley. turning into men and becoming big bullhards. So that's great. <laughs> bullhards? I don't know what that means. I never heard that term. I've heard blowhards. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still thinking about that random too. air going from. No, it's like my my body turns like fucking barf into air. 
He's gone full poop hoarder. Yeah, no, that that does happen. I uh, I think of myself as a strong, strong like stomach kind of guy, but it, like the moment this nastiness happens, it all goes right out the window. <laughs> When the hormones kick in, like William, he's. I gotta stop talking about him. He doesn't like it. Right Did he just swear? He's literally saying, please stop talking about me online. And she won't stop. She literally is bullying her own child online. But complains about bullying online when it's dealing with her. Anyway, the life that kid has. Oh well, it's a miserable well, it's better life now for with it with a foster family because they have yeah. been removed from her custody. Good. <sighs> Teenagers. He is. He's turning twelve, so now he thinks he's like knows everything. And he's not a get, teenager like, yet. Yeah, yeah, he's, like, in... he's turning twelve, so now he's a teenager. He's eleven. By, by the way, recently uh, she claimed to have empty nest. Um, what is it? Empty nest syndrome. Syndrome. Or... Syndrome. Yeah. yeah, yeah but, but for her fucking, they're still under. They're minors, and they've been removed from her custody. You, and you she's like, I'm going her. through empty nest now. Dude, empty nest does not mean your kids got taken away from you before they were 18. You dumb uh, cunt. TJ, you misunderstood her. She has empty nest syndrome because what does a full nest have in it? Eggs. She just fucking wants some eggs, dude. That's right. Let me get a dozen egg omelet. All right. Extra ham, extra cheese, and also uh, remove the kids. So, like, everything I do, everything I do embarrasses him. Everything I do embarrasses him. Like, Mom, yeah, I don't want you doing my school. Listen to this shit. This is, this is glorious. Everything I do embarrasses him. Like, Mom, I don't want you to go into my school. Why not? Mom, I don't want you going into my school. And she's like, why not? There's nothing embarrassing about me. <laughs> Holy mm -hmm. fuck. So cringy. Because they'll have to remove that center bar and the double doors. Yeah, exactly. They'll have That's to unlock the shit. second door to get your fucking fat ass through there. And then <sighs> to all my teachers. Because... Okay. Mom, why do you have to go in the grocery store with me? What? Dude, even they don't even want you going in the grocery store with them. She thinks it's just normal teenager stuff. No, normal teenagers are not embarrassed to go to a grocery store. They're embarrassed to go to a grocery store with you. Mm -hmm. Because you are embarrassing on every level. You're a big, fat, dumb fuck with a bunch of warts on your face, and you're loud. Abrasive. I'm sorry. It's truthful. Everything I do embarrasses him. And I know it's a stage. Yeah, it's just a stage. No, it's not a stage. <sighs> yeah, it's a stage. You know, it if you're... If you look like Shani, you could you could mitigate it with your with a really good personality. But no, like, to I don't be, know. Maybe you'd have to but, have but a we, really we, good. I, no, we we had talked about this before. It's like uh, like the opposite effect where it would be like you could you know meet you know the the most gorgeous chick you've ever met until she opened her mouth and was a total cunt. So yeah, yeah. And, then, Imagine, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, she's not hot anymore. What's the hottest right. girl, hottest <laughs> actress you can think of right now, Dark Matter? A hot, a hot actress, uh, Jennifer Lawrence is pretty hot. Okay, 
Jennifer Lawrence, but she sounds and acts like Shani. She's not hot. Uh, oh, God. No. No. Yeah, yeah. I'm the same way. Like, I'm sorry. I don't care how hot you are if you're, like, dumb or obnoxious. There's n- zero. Uh, dude, uh, when I was, like, 20, I dated a girl who did that, like, you dropped your smile. Huh? Ty- you, you ever, you, like, you're walking randomly and you walk across somebody else and she would be like, Oops, you dropped something. Your smile. What the? F- yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ne- needless, just- needless to say, whoosh, don't care, don't care, don't care if you're like the uh, the <laughs> like a, a hot looking freaking uh, Cherokee <laughs> fucking Indian. I don't give a fuck. There's zero you fucks that given. Nice. <laughs> that ass isn't so nice anymore. <laughs> yeah. No, I can't. I can't think of like twice like. Fuck you for being like that. I can't but, walk uh, around in public without having to worry about being embarrassed by you. We're on a different level now. We're not on the same level you thought we were on. Oh, God. Do you want more of this? You want more of more of this? Oh. I'm surprised you could do that without your shit crashing. And then there's my youngest. <laughs> Whoa. He's always trying to get his brother in trouble. Like, why are you trying to get your brother in trouble all the time? Is this what they do? Like, why? But he doesn't like it when I talk about it. So I'm just going to leave it there. So, mother These are her biological <laughs> children. Somebody <laughs> nutted in her. Uh, yeah, apparently some kind of like cracker meth head who uh, has not been in their lives ever since. She married another guy to get her kids back, and uh, then she left him for Rev. Somehow got the kids back again after that, and uh, Rev has been threatening those kids and shit for a long time. It wasn't until he finally like kicked one of them in the head and stomach. And then went to jail for 13 days. And then she, when he came home, she let him right back in the house. And that's when she lost the kids. But the don't worry. This, she'll blame the trolls, the YouTube trolls. That's why she lost her kids. The, the fact that this woman has had multiple children uh, and, and, and has shifted from relationship to relationship makes the, con- the very concept of incels completely incoherent. So, look. I'm not saying that you can't have a kid with one person and then like that consider that like more of a mistake of a relationship and then move mm-hmm. on and whatever. But yeah. Shani didn't do that at all. She fucked and had a kid with a crackhead and then did it again and then lost her kids and then had to marry the next guy to get her kids back and then left him for Rev and then lost her kids again. Like, does she strike you as the type of person to learn from her mistakes, DJ? <laughs> oh man, I'm 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 assuming if you said mistake to Shani, she would say, "Did somebody say steak?" <laughs> no, she doesn't learn shit. None of this. We we are gonna get through this shit. Hold on. <sighs> Th- this video, there's a reason you have to listen to the end because the kid is upset and she don't give a fuck. Fucking ruin people for years. What am I doing, William? Please let me know. I'm not doing anything. Go away. Go. Not only that, she's recently had this same kid. Now that he's a little bit more grown up. Uh, come online and and she recorded him making excuses for her. Mm. She Lovely. brings her underage children into YouTube drama. And with with clips like this still existing online. Oh, go go be hormonal somewhere else. On camera. I'm not doing anything, William. Just leave me alone. How about you leave me alone? I am That's leaving you I was alone, just about obviously. To say. The, kid's than she is. the kid's way smarter than she is, and probably with a third of the chins. <laughs> Talking about me, I'm okay, sure I'm I'm gonna leave. Someone is going to get in trouble now. For yelling oh, at Jesus me. Jesus Christ. 
What a piece of shit. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. Look, I am not a perfect parent. I have twin four-year-olds right now. They can wear on me. I can lose my patience. I can I can become frustrated. Never once have I been like, I'm going to use their frustration as YouTube clout and then lie, like record as they complain about it that they're little bitches or something like that. Terrible, terrible fucking parenting. All right. That one's done. Um, oh, God. Oh, God. All right. That one we already covered as well. Thank God. Oh, God. All right. We're down to the nitty gritty, my friends. Dark matter. You get to yeah. choose one through four. Jesus Christ. Give me an order. Like two, four, one, two, three, or whatever. You got <laughs> f- one through four. Give me an order. All right. We'll go three, two, one, four. Okay. Three, <laughs> two, one. Four. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I changed right. my mind. <laughs> <laughs> They're all the same, bro. <laughs> They're all the same, bro. Oh, hold on, hold on. Here we go, here we go. Where is the one we're going to do? She seems upset about something. Is it, is it muted? Oh, it is. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Here we go, here we go. Uh, I'm going to just refresh that so we get it from right from the get-go. First of all... For, okay, first of all. That's a hand. That's a finger. No, you guys can't even see the whole thing, bro. That, that's a finger. That, <laughs> what I'm is that? Is. What is that? I hope it's what a finger. What is that? What is it? I <laughs> know. Uh, no. God damn it. What is that? It looks what does that look like to you guys? What does um, it look like? Uh, a freeze frame from Alien? Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. I've... N- oh, God damn it. I'm going to be sick. Look at... look What? What is it that? Fucking, what is it, that? It, what if that? you saw what? that, what would you call that? That's a figure. I hope so. Hey guys, you want no, no, no. Want to see a very happy and satisfied and content man right now? No. Look at that. It's her fucking That man arm. is happy and con- What? That looks like an All right, ass. Let me let me move this. Fucking- <laughs> what's he the, doing? That's, that's the man she's but talking what's- about. <laughs> what's so go- is, he, is that a dead body? I don't get it. What's going on? Dude, that's the... love. <laughs> Yo, yeah, the, the, the channel is called Fat, Fat Courtney Love. Dude, that's Rev. The, what so is... Good. What is it? Look at it. That's is he arm. taking a nap in her pit? Yeah. But why? Ten is. Dude, that still frame looks fucking horrendous. Look at that! No, no. Fuck. No. No. What the fuck? No, no, no! He's so. Why are you... Oh, you're shaking your head, baby. He's a happy, happy man right now. That's right. You a happy man. What's going on? Ha- nobody, nobody knows dark matter. No, nobody knows. What? Nobody <laughs> knows what happy. parts of this this is. Nobody knows what what is this? What is this? It looks like a threesome, but there's only two people. No, there's five. 
Dude, 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 get your face out of there. Get your face out of there. You're going to get a disease. Maybe he's trying to be, he's trying to be Brad Pitt. Mm hmm. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Pitt. I get it. I get it. I can't come up with he's a trying better to be a race, He's trying to be a race car driver. He's making a pit stop. I don't know. I don't know, dude. You got I'm gonna, me up at I'm gonna 11.44 give you that. I'm looking gonna give at you pit that. porn. It's, it's uh, not Formula One, but FUPA One. All I know is it's almost midnight, and you got me looking at pit porn. Satisfied, baby. Yes. <clears throat> they know what happened. <laughs> hey guys hold on hold on i gotta get to the end you want to see a very yeah, happy you see her. and satisfied and content man right now look at that that man is happy and content as fuck oh you're shaking your head baby He's a happy, happy man right now. That's Did right. Did she just do a fucking post You a happy man. Mm -hmm. Turn you on you on the camera. Baby? Yes. Ugh. Ugh. They, they just fucked and she went for the yes. camera to talk about it. No, hold on. We, we got to point out something else here. TJ Bro. gags at other things, but he has not gagged not once at this. It's because I've this seen I've seen this before. Look at what yeah, you would, you would look at this and you would assume ass, right? He's seen it before, Grant. I'm having I'm getting a distinct impression this came straight from the fat folder. Oh no, like straight. Uh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, you just admitted, dude. Like, oh fuck it. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Uh, what are you licking the folds? Oh, uh, fuck yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> they know what happened. <laughs> oh, no. Bro. A happy man. Just, just fuck that. I'm imagining it's like like um, trying to climb. That's your, that's your first a, problem it's right like there is imagining. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> like it's like trying to climb a waterfall, uh, like a waterfall of Play-Doh. <laughs> Holy shit! That is. Hey guys. All right, all right. We're done. We're done with that. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, all right. Are you guys ready for this shit? No. Yes, you are. You love it. See, I know you want me to say your name. She looks like a fat rock. But I'm not going to. I know you love for me to say your name. Dark matter, try at least to hard like hide the chub that you've got going on right now. TJ, it's inverted. It's <laughs> inverted. <laughs> oh fuck! But I'm not going to. I know you want that, baby. This candy ass can't do that for you, baby. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> oh, you guys are f playing a practical joke on me. You paid this woman a lot of money to do this, didn't you? <laughs> Nobody's this absurd. Oh, fuck me. 
because <laughs> your name has no place on YouTube anymore. It I'm just sorry, gets weirder just... and weirder. Dude. Dude. A phone call because I'm so... Hold on, hold on. That's what you want, right, Dark Matter? You're second guessing your choice of Mrs. Dark Matter. Because honestly, if there's any place that a Dark Matter exists, it's probably within her. I mean, she clearly is the better bargain. Because, I mean, obviously, you would get her for a th in a three for one sale. Dude, five for one. Yeah. Bro. So popular. So, anyway. <laughs> She's drunk or high. Yeah, always. Ah. Yeah. And she got more chins than a Chinese phone book. What's your point? Doesn't she look so cute right there? Right here. No, what she looks like is the reason of alien species has avoided making contact that's she's the answer to the fucking drake equation in in this freeze frame anyway anyway i'm not gonna say your name and you know exactly who i'm talking to dark matter 2525 how stop You're it tj so vain you You'll probably think, think this song is about, about you. You're don't so you. vain. You think this is a story about you. Fuck, if only I could have got her to say my name, I could have made the big time. So vain. You think this is a story Bro. No. No. Don't you, don't you, don't you. <sighs> All right, you ready? No. We got one more, one more. This, this is, this is an important one. Important? That's the word you're using? Yes. Oh. Damn, it was almost I a got good a little video. coffee today. How are you, my people? What is that on her I have a, a very important announcement. Bro, I don't know about you guys, but I'm so turned on right now. I'm like, look, I got a fucking four wart limit. Anything over that, and I'm just like, uh, fuck yeah. So we got, we got, uh, uh, uh. there's two right here. Mm -hmm. That's two, three, four, five, and that's the nose ring, but it's pretty close. We'll go with five. There's, there's a six one on the left side. Over oh here. No, go up, go up. Oh, like, right like, there. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, that's definitely. Ooh. Oh my god. The only god thing I'm thinking it. is seeing like Pee Wee Herman connect the dots. La, 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 la. <laughs> Dude, you guys are, are missing the best part here, which is this. What the fuck, man? <laughs> oh, bro, what is it? What is it? What? What? Meant that I didn't say, but I have been kind of lingering on for the she last few weeks. She has horizontal cleavage. I quit my porn. <laughs> she quit her what? <clears throat> I'll play it one more time for you. Oh, God. I'm lingering thanks. on for the last few weeks. I quit my porn. Um, for various reasons. Um, even though I was very successful at it, and I thank everyone who bought my OnlyFans, thank you. Um, it was, it was, first of all,
Sorry, hold on. I need to move this. How, how successful was her porn? They maybe made a couple hundred bucks. And that was just morbid curiosity bucks, probably. Morbid yeah. obesity nice. curiosity, correct. Yeah. Well, Jason was beginning to feel uncomfortable with it. It and <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> I ended up. Oh, that's sexy. probably the same reaction he had when you bent over in front of him. <laughs> By the way, uh, for anyone curious, it's Shanny the number four Christ at uh, at Twitter. So uh, yeah, the, the um. If you assumed for whatever reason that these people would be attractive to watch fuck, you were wrong. What you meant to watch was a, a guy grabbing on to folds like he worked at a laundromat and uh and feverishly trying to keep hold while he pumped some creases that haven't been washed in no God knows how long. Oof getting sick and that completely stopped it and halted it to a complete stop because um when you don't feel why it's really cool yeah oops sorry i i wanted to ask why you would add the nose ring when you already have so many other face uh additions Maybe it's to take the focus away from all the fucking... It doesn't help. It makes it look like an extra <laughs> wart. From Tila Tequila and how dangerous it was for her to be in that business. And then... By the way, Tila Tequila now, if do, have you you guys remember Tila Tequila? Is she, is, she, did, is she the one that just turned, like, ultra-religious? Be, no, no. Ultra-religious like is an fucking... understatement. She thinks yeah, she yeah. is God. Man, I saw an interview. I think it was like a year ago. She was spouting all kinds of shit, and it's like, wow. This is the girl that was like famous on MySpace for mm -hmm. like showing off her body. And she was uh, doing a lot of the uh, the vehicle shoots, like the, sure. the import vehicle stuff. They yeah. had they literally had a tequila, uh, tequila love show on like VH1 or, or MTV. Yeah. Uh, same as she like, got, you know, they, 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 and she went complete nutso. so yeah. and said basically like she is God and anyone that like, like thinks against her is like anti, you know, G, you know, God, mm -hmm. she's like absolutely fucking insane. These people, my point being that like, just cause someone is like, Oh, guess popular at some point does not mean they are worth following. Right. My like my a perfect example is dark. Have you ever heard of a fucking channel called Dark Matter Twenty Five Twenty Five? I fucking like started following that channel, and then I was like, Im almost immediately, like this is trash, just garbage. You know what I mean, Grant? Grant, I I I, I can't do it. <laughs> He's just say the guy is just tr garbage, garbage. It's like you're committing a war crime. No, it's a stream crime, and uh, it's it's as long as I'm punching. It's... The thing is, as long as I'm punching up, it's okay. TJ, you're six six, and you have more subscribers than me, so technically, it's punching up, bro. Now, is she trying to compare herself to? Tequila, tequila. <laughs> she, she's you, you hear stories from Siren Cove and why she quit pornography. She's trying to say that she quit pornography because it's risky. That that people will come <laughs> after you. That's why she. Not that she didn't make any. She said, "I'm very successful." She, like, dude, if I had like, a dollar what? for every acre of ass that I showed, I'd be rich. 
<laughs> Wait, she did like a couple of scenes or whatever, and she's comparing herself to like ultra fucking board stars. Yeah, dude, pretty much. Really? And, and and they're always all of them. It's always a very sad story. Porn stars have sad stories, and that's why we quit Dude, she's OnlyFans. She's on something right now. She's always she, on something because she steals. Like the way she's her, like looking up and shit. She you know, steals her boyfriend's medications and fucking like is a pill addict and addict of any. She's a consumer by nature, so it doesn't right. matter whether you like. If it doesn't matter if it's corn, she will. If you're a corn farmer, she will <laughs> consume it. It's all she knows how to do. Um, and my heart goes out to every single one of them. And it, it's just. This is their sorry excuse for why their OnlyFans didn't take off. She's like literally being like, it's not because nobody wanted to watch this. My skinny, retarded boyfriend. Fuck my giant fat ass. It's because <laughs> like, you know. Like, bad things happen to porn stars, and we're just looking out for each other. Like, get the fuck out of here. I wish we wouldn't have to view people so subjectively and so much like pieces of meat. And that's the only time you ever give them attention or gratitude. <laughs> that's the Stop or looking at her like a piece of any, meat, TJ. Any... What the funny thing is, that's the reason why she did what she just did. I don't buy... Meat with this much fat on it, dark matter. I prefer the lean beef, if you know what I mean. You, but but fuck you, for making fun of this poor woman. All she's trying to do is making a living for her and her kids that got taken away by CPS. All right, you piece of by shit. By working four jobs, I'm sorry. Yeah, dude. I mean, well, I mean, I don't know how many channels she has now, but that's how many jobs she's working. She well, she had th three YouTube channels, and then not, and the and then the the only they fans took that's them four. all away. They took her channels away. They took her derbs. They took her derb. They fired her. Took her derb type of adoration it is when they throw themselves in an industry to flaunt their appearance and they do it to trisha all the time and she is so abused by people you look in the comments on her only fans and they're just people who just pay just to trash her yeah yeah the amount of hate that woman gets i just by the way it's been described that the uh that's an awesome freeze frame by the way it's been described that watching her trying to suck her boyfriend's dick is like watching a cat trying to chase a piece of hot dog around the kitchen floor <laughs> you, i know i know you have meant immediately got that mental image of like fucking christ it's totally unjustified. No, totally. It, it's it's just it's 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 just. My heart goes out to Trisha Paytas. My heart goes out to Nicado Avocado. My your heart goes out every time you fucking eat a sub sandwich. It doesn't mean much. <laughs> my heart goes out to Lena the Plug, Siren Cove, everyone that I met through this whole journey. Everyone, my heart goes oh, out to all of them because they're all just broken hearts. Fuck, broken dude. souls that just want affection yeah and there's nothing wrong with wanting affection these 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 she fucking sociopathic affection. people who try to make you feel bad for wanting it wanting there's no yeah. g's there's no <laughs> I did, g's I that would trigger you there's no g's wanting <laughs> wanting what, have, look, look, I, I will say, like, look, uh, what, are you, what are you and your friends doing? And I'll be like, oh, we're drinking. No G required. It's fine. It's a little bit different if, like, everyone has pointed out that you don't pronounce your Gs. And then I'm like, oh, dude, we're, uh, we're drinking and singing and thinking and, uh, you know, 
we're just doing everything in the way we can in the, and and like like what the fuck are you well, doing? No, it, it, ing is one thing, but she'll fucking take the g's out of an ong. Yeah, bong. Right. But yeah. like, it, yeah. <laughs> she doesn't have to clean her bong. She cleans her bon. Uh, she doesn't the, like. Oh, you haven't mowed your lawn in a long time. To Shanny, that means you haven't mowed your lawn in a long time. Like, um, bring, bringing things. Talking about stuff and things. Like, going out of your way to be fucking... Oh, yeah, whatever. All right. Attention and affection. Fuck them. They're assholes. They're pieces of shit. Because there's nothing wrong with wanting that. Because, you know what? You didn't get it when you She'd were younger. Be a great and every pilot. person needs love. Ev if only she could fit in a cockpit. I'm just saying, uh, if she flew, there would be no Gs. So... Ha! Ha! This guy's got jokes. He's got jokes. <laughs> he, she, she, she honestly could probably be flying rubber dog shit out of Hong Kong if she tried. All right. Last one. This is the fucking Hong greatest. Kong. This is the greatest. Last one. Enjoy, guys. No idea. Well, Wifey Poo is also curious about this. So, folks, how you doing? You notice how terrible his fucking microphone audio is? And he's got the f the, the pop filter thing. I That's why I wanted to point that out. It's just for yeah. you, Dark Matter. It doesn't I'm matter. I'm taking it off right now. Yeah, thank you. Uh, this only gets better because he brags about his microphone quality while it sounds like shit. It's the bingo wing individual. I just wanted to explain. They call him the bingo wing individual because he has like arm flaps that like flop off his the bottom of his arm like a bat wing. Explain to you something, folks. Very simply this, that I finally got the final conclusion of why my wife gets so much hate. I know now. And I'm really happy about knowing because it can be rough going through this YouTube thing and you it just get constant hate. It shouldn't be a fucking mystery. It shouldn't be a mystery. It shouldn't be a mystery. I was trying to listen to you. I didn't understand a word. <laughs> exactly. Because this fucking retard doesn't know, understand not to fucking speak directly into the fucking microphone every time. It's constant hate. So, I... while he excuses the hate for his wife, by the way, his wife. This is he, this is Rev. So his wife is Shani. He he talks about YouTube hate like it's universal, like everybody gets it, and that's not the case. Like I don't I don't get that much hate. See, that's the other thing is they're like when you do stuff on YouTube, you're gonna naturally get hate. No. Dark Matter doesn't get it, and he's got a huge channel. Fuck it. We don't even get fucking hate on, on this podcast channel. Like, occasionally, like, but nothing like what you're fucking experiencing. We, we do just fine without you, dipshit. We do just fine without your fucking, like, false ideologies about how shit works. I'm trying mm -hmm. to figure it out, right? I know now. It's two things, and my wife, is. she's even just said to me, she said she's interested in hearing this. Number one, first of all. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Like, what are you doing, you fucking idiot? That's a fucking, by the way, that's like an $800 microphone. And uh, TJ, just to let you know, every time you do that, your shit actually has to level back when you go to normal. You'll start back off low again, and then it goes right up to. to I'll the normal. try to do better. <laughs> We're not gonna hear you for a half hour now, TJ. <laughs> but no, it takes a few seconds when he starts talking, and then it comes right back. Okay, well, check it, check it, check it. One, two, one, two. All right. Um, no, seriously. Still quiet. I think it. It'll, it'll come back. 
You son of a bitch. Like, you're, I See, didn't expect you to be serious about it. <laughs> all right. All right. See, there it is. All right, all right. We're good. We're good. All right. <laughs> number one, this AKG microphone is amazing. Okay. That's number one. No, it's. This is like saying my amazing, my Mercedes is amazing. My Mercedes is amazing when I put it in neutral and floor it. You're defeating the purpose, you dumb, dumb motherfucker. Number one. Number two. The number one reason my wife gets so much hate is because people are jealous of her. That's the number. <laughs> that's the number. Uh, <laughs> I told you this is ridiculous shit, bro. Oh my god, he's so dumb. This only gets worse, by the way. And look at look at look at look at look at the look on his face. <laughs> he's it's, really figured it out. It's because you're jealous of my fat fucking stupid wife. <laughs> God, if only you weren't all so fucking jealous of my 570-pound, ridiculously retarded wife, then we would just be all, like, you know, you would get it. For one reason, it's because they're jealous. And that's mainly probably females that think she's very attractive and <laughs> is jealous of her looks. <laughs> Is this like this is like high level satire, isn't it, TJ? You would want to believe that. That's what I'm saying, bro. You would want to believe that everything they're telling you is the most ridiculous satire, and that like they have tricked you. But they're just stupid, fucking idiots with no, no standards, yeah. no awareness, no standards, no nothing. It blows my mind. I open this fucking show up talking about how like like it's it's almost like unfathomable to believe that like anyone could be on this level. But these fuckers attain it on a regular basis. It is mind blowing. She just said like why she quit porn even though she was very successful. It's cause so many people gave her shit. And she didn't want to fucking down like be downtrodden on any other fat, stupid whores that wanted to fucking be like porn stars, I guess. What in the fuck are you trying to accomplish here? Who are you trying to impress? We saw the close-ups of that thing that you call an arm. It looked like a butt and a hip. <laughs> <laughs> and... They come at her like that because that's just the way it is. That's what I always thought it was with Miss Star. If you guys remember Miss Star, I thought it was because of that. Because Shani is like a very... How can you have a $600 microphone and sound this bad? I have a $30 microphone and I sound just fucking fine. You just got the gain too high. I mean, this is beyond gain. Pain before gain. I, I hope it's the pain <laughs> that's causing this. Much, 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 much orders of magnitude of about 70 billion times better looking than Miss Star. Unfortunately what? for how, her. But that's how just. How is that humanly possible? It's 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70 times billion. Uh, not only that, but your incredibly ugly, fat fucking wife. It's one thing if it's like, look, uh, you are ugly, and my my significant other is incredibly attractive. It's another thing if it's like, hey, I don't like what you're saying, therefore my ugly wife is incredibly attractive. You're all just jealous because you're not... Fat fucking moron Shanny. Re like. <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do with that? Dark matter. Do something with that. 
Dark matter, sh- sweetly tell your fat girlfriend, Shani, why it's okay and it's not her fault. In the Carl Sagan voice, because we still owe the Carl Sagan voice. So, go ahead. Tell her why what's not her fault. With all the people harassing her? No, anything. Anything? Nothing is her fault. Do you understand? All right. Um, you need to explain to us why why Jason is right about his fat, stupid fucking girlfriend being wrong about nothing. And you need to do that in a Carl Sagan delivery. All right. Go. My <laughs> lovely bride, as vibrant as you were on the night we met... The 36-inch dildo that has become lost in the folds of your flesh is most certainly not your fault. Uh, I count myself as being culpable for not being able to delve deep enough in order to retrieve the sexual instrument. Keep going if you want. Oh, Jesus. I, no, that was oh, good. fuck. Oh, how just hacked up a how dare you force me to put that on the internet, TJ? Oh, oh, oh fuck me. I'm like, that, that hurts so good. Oh, God. All right, all right, all right. You know what? Uh, Carl, can you just, like, wrap up this show? Just wrap the whole thing up and we'll call it a night. We hope you have enjoyed tonight's show of the goddamn podcast starring such esteemed gentlemen as Tejas, Grant, and the always beloved Dark Matter 2525. We've explored the sights and sounds and indeed even the smells of Shani for Christ. (laughs) It It is for this reason we know that she will not be back. But it was enough to have occurred and it will teach our future archaeologists something about our society. (laughs) <laughs> one that they will know uh, forever and ever be, amen they could be grateful to, to have been long past this stage of of the human species yo <laughs> that was fan fucking tastic everybody here if you made it this far drop a fucking like it can't hurt dude you guys are fantastic um Honestly, uh, we, I would love to keep this shit going, uh, this kind of uh, fun times. You guys let us know in the comments whether you uh, whether you enjoyed it that much, as much as I did or not. But thank you very much, Grant. Uh, thank you very much, Dark Matter. You guys are like my fucking heroes. Um, and uh, try as hard as you can not to go check out the Shannon Rev OnlyFans. I know you got five dollars just burning a hole in your pocket, and you're like, "Dude, how can I ever keep from getting an erection ever again?" But still, don't do it. Don't do it. You might change your mind someday in the future, and you could never take back a Shani and Rev fucking porno. Uh. Anyway, <laughs> uh, love you guys. Thank you so much for showing up. We'll uh, we'll be doing this again before long. Grant a. a Special big thanks to Grant for showing up and uh, keeping us on track. So love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Good night. night. Later.